Hello and welcome to the Velvet Tiki Room Sub. Which, hi Dime, good to see you. Uh, which when I say that out loud sounds like a submarine. Uh, that wasn't actually what I meant, but. We all live in a velvet submarine. Submarine. We have, okay, we had to be indoors this evening because it is a, hi Eric, good to see you. It is a little chilly in the Velvet Tiki mm -hmm. Room, not going to lie. Yesterday, it was gorge. Like we could have completely gone live out but there. But guess what we have for you right now. Here we go. Music. Yeah, we have music. Baby. Hi, Mom. Good to see you. Yeah, so we might not be outside, but we have music, so yeah. kind of balances out. Yeah. You're listening to the music of the clowns. So it's not all bad being inside. Yeah. And as you can see, I, I slightly tiki-fied. So, hi, Julie. Good to see you. Yay, I'm glad you're here. So, um, yeah, so we had to be inside. Hopefully next week we could be out there. But, um... But we got music, so yeah, because it's it's a little hard to play music out there. It's um, hi Dano, good to see you, Dan from the Clams. Let us play his music. Thank you so much. And let's see, hi John, good to see you, Lisa, good to see you too. Uh, yeah, okay, good. I think we're. Oh my God, I thought I heard someone knocking on the door. I'm like, not now, <laughs> not now. Did I get everyone? Okay, I think I did. Gettysburg Ma'am, hello, hey. good to see you. So, Gettysburg Ma'am made these earrings. So if you would like to drop your link, Gettysburg Ma'am, please do. And, um, oh, Joe, hi, good to see you. Yay, I'm glad you're here. Um, Errol, hello. Oh, Lisa says, I love hearing music again. I know. I know, right? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. It's getting to be that time of year. We, um, we were going to do, we, we had potentially thought about doing something for record store day, but, um, we would want to do it with Rumbar Records and, um, we're, we're going to table that for the, the next couple of weeks but we expect to have some stuff from rumbar records coming up soon so we'll be doing more music very excited okay let's see i've not missed anyone have i okay there he is oh folks thank you you know sometimes it's just getting it all together before oh. i can step on up because you forget oh one God. thing and you're like ah the phlegm you know you got to go and do well i completely things. redecorated at about six because I was like, we're gonna be inside. So gotta do these things. So but it's great to have one. Great to have the music playing in the back of us. Yes, thank looks. you, Dan. Pretty great. By the way, if uh Dano from the Club was here would like to drop -o yes the link where people can purchase this music, then uh that would be great because there are a number yes, of CDs. Yes, Dennis Frogman made these earrings. <clears throat> There's a bunch of CDs, there's download stuff, and there is uh, do you still have copies of Clam Before the Storm, which we listen to right now on LP? Because that's that's the big one. Was that thing learning. that gave you the ice bucket? Kind of looked like it, right? <laughs> Mikhail, hi, Mikhail. Good to see you. Yeah, thank you, Zane. Hugo, good to see you. Thank you, Zane. Well, I don't know about you all. Hi, Roberta. Good to see you. Let's see here. Yay! So, I don't know about you all, but I'm ready for a train. That works. <laughs> not sick anymore. Just um, residual cough. allergies now. Yeah, but, I've um, got residual I'm not myself. contagious. Not but that I you can get it that way. I didn't get it all in my system. Now, is the balance, is the volume of the music okay with us? Can you hear us? Can you hear the music? Let us know. We're being surrounded by, so it should definitely be kicking this microphone a few different ways from Wednesday. And uh, if you got us and it's not too loud, I can always like tweak it a little. You know, we want the balance to be good. It's all acoustic. Hey, when you go, can you go back over there to change the music, will you um, turn on that sign? Yeah. It's bothering me. It's bothering me. I'm telling you. Okay. okay. So. Music volume sounds great. Uh, hi, Keith. Oh, hi, Good Keith. to see you. Nice to Hope you're okay too. We're yeah, fine. Yeah. 
Or look, we, we kind of caught Oh, they do Gettysburg Man, yes. Look, tail end of the season, we pick up something because no one is actually Dying. wearing appropriate yeah. clothing and it was cold. And then, like, we're just hacking up, and it's just, that was a whole week of just, ah, look. Dan, drop the link so people know where to buy your LPs, vinyl and CDs. CDs. <laughs> yeah, they, they both sound fab. If yeah. anyone out there who's like, you know, oh, I just listen to LPs, it's like, you got to hear these CDs. They're really mastered, like, very dense. They just sound good. You know, and these days, who buys a CD anymore? So it's great that they're available. <laughs> Paul, of course, has the Clams record in quad, right? <laughs> um, no such thing. Well, Dano did, John, funny man. Dano talked about doing his next project in the surround sound application, and he monkeyed around with that, and he's like, meh. So he's, he's shelving that for Casey, the moment. Hi, Casey. Good to see but you. But who knows? Dime on this broadcast has been monkeying around in the surround mixes. Maybe we'll just come up with something. That'd be kind of fun. Yo, yo, Casey, man. Cool. All right, well, I guess our vinyl is wow. pretty good. Show us that fabulous album cover. I believe we can do oh, that. Oh, you got to take it off the wall. Uh, that's the wrong album cover. Although Ceviche Oh, is, oh, Fred's. Yeah. Yeah, Fred. Actually, yeah, Ceviche... We got an album cover, but no one else does. <laughs> yeah. Paul has almost every album in quad. He has a lot. I got a few. He has a few. I got a few. A good few quad records. And he's not here, so I can say this. Sometimes he buys things just because they're in quad. And I'm like, why do you have this? And it's like, it was in quad. So <laughs> He can hear me, by the way. Oh, some of this is pretty great music. So. Uh, um, yeah, but some of them aren't great music. I'm just saying. Some of them are pretty slices. Uh, anyway, so I have two blender drinks to make. And since they're tropical drinks, they're fairly involved. So. I'm glad Paul's back. I can actually do Hi, the Dan, entertainment. Hi, Daniel. Good to you, see you. Entertainment while you mix stuff. All right. I don't know. I'm awesome. All right. So. Anyway, so we were the aforementioned Ed is playing now. I just want to see what I'm doing so I can make sure I get this one Clam before the storm. I tilt it down a little. There That's you go. Talking. I'm like, Ooh, isn't that great? Look at this fabulous Fred art. It's so great. The, the clam is contemplating the storm. <laughs> well, there you go. That's obvious. Kind of Aww. great. Includes download code in case you don't have something to play this. But if you do, check it out. It's oh, got, it's Lisa on that. and Errol, I love it. <laughs> and look and check it. It's on color vinyl. Black. <laughs> nice and thick. It's really fantastic. Love it. Oh. Even, even the label is cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. Download code. Play it on your player. Super duper. Buy the CD too. What the heck? Glam before the storm. Marvelous. We're I'm going to decide which one I'm making first. Is it Scripido Almejo or Chalada? One of those things. There's two sites. Dance Party. Currently. Playing a cocktail party, which is here like in Okay. Anyway, so yeah, again, this is uh, Daniel Clam on the guitars, Deep Sea Clam on bass, and uh, Clammy Davis Jr. on drums. Clammy Davis Jr. I went to college with Clammy Davis. Okay. So. Oh, did you, did you bring orange juice? We have orange juice. I did not. We have orange juice. I need orange juice. Okay. You're making that first? I need a half ounce. Okay. Yes. So. I think this one is going to be less involved. I think we could handle that in one of these. Ooh, Eric's getting a storm. I want... <gasps> Wait a minute. Better. Better. I wonder if we're supposed to get that storm because I think it's supposed to rain. <sighs> of course it will rain. I need to go out tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Dave is too. Yeah, he's really funny. Um, okay, so. This one calls for a half cup of crushed ice. This ice isn't crushed yet, so I'm going to put it in the blender and then crush it, and then we'll go on from there. Although I think you're supposed to add the ice last. You know what I'm going to do? I'm already going off recipe, but this is too complicated. I'm going to put the ice in here, and then I'm going to, and I'm not going to crush it, and then I'll put in the ingredients, and the ice will get crushed. I promise you. So. Okay. Yeah, I know. All right, I'll give it a slight buzz. Still waiting for you to come back, though. Ooh, Ohio is getting some nasty storms. Oh, oh, Mikhail, they had some pretty intense thunderstorm. Oh, boy, did you lose? We lose power. Okay. Nothing's happening. 
it's I think we need the ice crusher it's not crushing it although you know what I bet if I poured the ingredients in it would start melting it and then it would start crushing it hi Peter um yeah I think that might be the way to go here we did not have, have time to Thank you. I was putting on my little dress like two minutes before we went live. Hey, Peter, so. <laughs> Yes. Hey, Peter, man. You know, I got this much wine left and it's so stupid. I'm going to start with wine. Can I have some? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, there's no point in saving a, a bottle of Monte over here. Thank uh, you. <clears throat> that hit the spot. You know. Hi, Garor. Flavor Good palette, to see you. We just had some pizza, so perfect. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Garor. By the way, okay. add number one of the evening. These glasses are still available. <coughs> the Glenny glasses are awesome. They hold a full, I don't know, half a bottle. Okay. No, it's probably a good six ounce glass. So do you think if I start pouring my stuff in here, it will help the process of kind of doing that? Yeah. Oh, it's pulsing too. Oh, there we go. Negative. That seems good. All right. Yep. So, <clears throat> I am making the Nui Nui. Nui Nui. And the Nui Nui calls for a half ounce orange juice, which Paul just brought me. Yeah, yeah, And I'm going to hand that to you. Right. Okay. Oh, where are our little measures? Do we have a half ounce one down here? And it's currently holding your Don's mix. Which I need for this, so I'll just add that. Oh, just dump okay. it in and away you go. Hello, folks. I kind of like it when it's just okay. right at your hand. Carefully, carefully, stickily, stickily. A half ounce. I should call for a quarter ounce. Don's Spices. Don's Spices. Don's number, Spices number two. Number two. Which is equal parts vanilla syrup and pimento liqueur. That's the big, you know, secret there. Thank you, Bum, because he deciphered it. Yeah, I like how it's and Don's we, Spices number two and Don's Mix. It's like, so was there Don's Spices number one, or are you just messing with this? A quarter ounce cinnamon syrup. That's like if somebody releases the collected improvisations of Charlie Barker, volume three. And never releases volume one and two. All the collectors will go insane. You know? <laughs> Hilarious. John has a good story about that. A half ounce <laughs> fresh lime juice. Which one's the lime? Half ounce fresh lime juice. I don't remember what I did. They're colored, but it's not like they're obvious, though. It's not like one is green. It's hard to tell yellow. in this light. A truth, also, also true. Okay. <clears throat> oh, okay, so now I'm down to the rum. This okay. is the Nui Nui or the Lovely? This is the Nui Nui. The Nui Nui. And that, that list is so long, but it's just because of a the dash instructions. of Angostura bitters. Okay. You get the rum in there? Not yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, but we can go back because I know what I'm doing here. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Go, go, go. How to, pimento is very it's spicy. Spicy here. sweet. Super not, spicy. Not Hi, dark. Gil. Good to see you. Yeah, the pimento in this case is not olives. It is um, allspice. It's allspice. That's another name for it in Jamaica. All right, so make sure we're not missing anything. There we go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. All right. Okay, I hope I didn't miss anything. Oh, oh Garour. Garour, I'm so sorry. Hats off to the poor fellow. Seventeen. Well, you know that's a great that's a great uh, spin. I gotta tell you, great spin. I mean, anytime we hear about it, you know somebody, you know somebody human lives to like ninety five. I'm like, that person might have said, yeah, I'm good. Ninety five is pretty good. This is a zip It does. I say that with that ascending like graphite. It <laughs> does. Do you want me to find it? Um. It should. I can't see. So. I'm doing my best. I would just be taking out the wine cutter at this point. Oh, it's oh is it higher than I was looking? No, it's not. <laughs> this is why you always gotta bring a knife. <coughs> to the Hi, Bobby! Hi, John. Uh, yeah. You have the most important question for me right there, and I'm sure that will help you out. Uh, just having what comes up. What? Oh. Uh, hold on, I think I, I think I missed something. Take a look. Always have a good blade on you. Blade John blade. says there was a guy that sold bootleg albums of jazz yeah. in the fifties. Yeah. He sold one 
called something like Lester Young at Storyville Volume Two. There was no Volume <laughs> no, One. <laughs> that's a story. That's a story. I think I knew because your dad had a lot of these. And what okay. this? I believe this guy advertised with downbeat and said something like, "I have every jazz record ever made." Okay, two ounces. And what he would do is cut an acetate of that onto an album for you of a bunch of old seventy eights, and your dad bought a bunch of those. Two ounces amber rum. They're cool, although you don't want to play an acetate too much. Well, that was once again, Lenny wine glasses still available, people. You don't have yours yet? What? Mm. <laughs> she wants that. to work with you. She does. Thank you. Probably gonna need to wash that and reuse it. I'm gonna use it for exactly that. So. Okay. There we go. All right. So. Yeah. You want to read comments while I? I, I guess not. He left. Well, I, I, I would really let read comments. <clears throat> Arr. Yeah. Why is it blending? He's tapping, yes. Peter, you, you love pimento. It's uh, it's actually, as a liqueur, it's pretty cool because it's quite digestive. As an ingredient, it's great. Because it just adds a very specific spice in it. It's like everything, you know? It's got a very clove hit to it, frankly. There's still yeah. some ice in there, but whatever. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, Eric has, uh, you can watch Kitty live streams for, uh, for Fuzzy Buddies. Hello. Hey. Aww. Well, you can always watch like the puppy bowl, like a rebroadcast. And oh, look at that! Fits kind of perfectly. Look at that pour. Hello. You know, is this yeah. the one that calls for the peel? Okay, now Chaz is one. talking about pimento cheese sandwiches, which is the other kind of pimento that goes inside. And hi, Chaz. Good to see you. <laughs> and Peter notes that those Glendy wine glasses do make your wine taste. 350 percent better Aww. i thought it was only 23 percent but hey oh, okay. i appreciate i appreciate that thought and it, you're supposed to garnish with and or a very long well, that's really long <laughs> that's a really long peel orange peel sticking out of the glass i'm using a lemon peel because pour it on america i feel like this might actually be a little too much. okay you can always cut a little yeah all right, I'll do that. Rip some. Okay. And there it right. goes, hanging yeah. out. Hanging okay. out. Got my fingers in the drink. Okay. okay grab now I need a Gonis. swizzle stick, and I need a straw. All right. Okay. And nui nui. What do we have here? Nui nui. Oh, cool. It's delicious. I would be glad to try that. <clears throat> Perhaps I will try your drink. Oh, that is good. That yeah. is quite a lemon peel, right? Getting sort of <laughs> you know, there was there's a, an amber rum, an aged rum, and you, oh. you can taste it. It's like right there. That's exactly why you use nice rum. A little bit more. There you go. It's supposed to stick out a lot. Okay, there we go. Like a, like a horse's neck. Cheers to Tiki Rob, right? There you go. <laughs> Girl drink drugs. Hey, what are you talking about? <laughs> don't want to disappoint me, do you, Ray? Reminds me of viscosity, surface tension, <laughs> potentially. Thixotropic <laughs> fluids. fluids. <laughs> awesome. Thixotropics are like gluey things. We, we gotta get them. Anyway, anyway. Oh, baby, now. Well, I'm going to do something <laughs> like this. Put a tapeworm in her drink. Ah, oh, Hi, Kalaka boy. Hey, Good Kalaka. to see you. Oh, there not we... sick anymore. Thank you. Please. We are, we are getting over to the point where I've just got a little cough right now. But man, last week it was just like, ugh, congestion city. Leftover pimento cheese sandwich. Like, that sounds good. It does sound damn good. Pimento yeah. cheese itself. I love a pimento cheese. A southern cheese really. specialty. A very specific product. It's not just like American cheese with a couple of olives thrown into it. It's not spimento love. It's actually got stuff going on. Spimento Somebody actually made it, I believe it was Margo, one year made the yeah. cheese. And then she was like, do you think I should bring this down for the third wave of the crawl and on? I'm like, oh, hells. Yeah. So she did, and it was popular. All right, so I mean, I, yeah. we do need to clean the bar, though. Did you? I did bring. Okay, good. I did, and one of my jaunts. Sticky. Takes me a while to get everything together sometimes. So there you go. Thank you. But you know what it means? Sticky, it means sticky, that I can sticky. reach behind me okay. and grab the container for my next hat trick, which is going to be Mr. Bally High. Hello. Mr. Bally High comes, High comes with this very specialized drink, which you could you could blend, you could do it in the mix master. <laughs> Imagine doing the mix master. Yeah, that's a good idea. We will do Hi, this. Hi, Phil. Good to see you. 
I'll use the Hamilton Beach because that's what the pros did. Oh, jeez. Oh, Lisa. Oh. Josie was happy with her Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, thank you, everyone. Yeah, Gettysburg Man, Clockway. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it was. Precious thixotropic bodily fluids. Yes, it was, it was not fun. And I felt like up through the weekend, I just kept getting worse and worse. And I really needed to go into the city on Monday. And it was like Monday morning. I was magically a lot better. And then Tuesday, I was worse again. But I think I'm over the hump. She was wanting what was in the glass, and I wouldn't let her. Nope. No. Nope. 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 Oh. Nope. oh. The heart wants what the heart wants, right? Josie? I've seen some video of Josie playing around with birds outdoors and such. Like, she's having a blast. Good thing those birds couldn't come inside. So, you know what? I'm going to be stronger. Not much. Not really. They're, uh, they're fatter, so you'll get more of a draft oh of each boy, one. Now. <laughs> There's a gagger. Does this remind you of when you when you had two teachers in class at the same time? <laughs> I never had that. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That's funny though. All right. Here we go. I'm going to make, and I have not dictated this yet. Oh, okay. Hold on. Do you take dictation? Did you purchase the the Lester Young platter? Oh, that's probably for John, right? That's for John. And okay. as a matter of fact, I don't know if his father did, but there was, of course, that very sadistic thing Valley where it was like Lester Young's like at live at the uh, at Birdland Volume Two. Okay. And there's no Volume One. That's just that's so sadistic. Right. I actually thought when we released a record of making it like the Matrix number be VLK-002 <laughs> in tribute to that whole concept because it's I don't mind a little dissodism, you know, whatever. Mr. Valley High involves one and a half ounces of unsweetened pineapple juice. Maybe not have. Maybe I do have. I think there's one in there. Okay. Look behind. Yeah. No, like in the middle. Look in the middle behind. I'm positive I saw one. Jeez, oh, I'm positive there's one back here. For those of you just joining us, we're enjoying the music of the Clams. And Dano, the leader of the Clams, is here with us this evening. Okay, okay, I'll get one out of the tiki. If you can get one of those guys, I will proceed okay. with the rest right. of All right. Uh, might be I'll even just start typing it in. There we go. An ounce of fresh lemon, half ounce of sugar syrup. There we go. Always fresh lemon. Uh, the bum would tell you, uh, fresh, 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 and like you could go for the bottle and it will ruin your drinks. What will ruin your drinks? Bottled juice. The bottled lime juice. It gets it gets you bitter. Uh, have a simple syrup. What else goes into this sucker? Three quarter ounce coffee brandy. Finally, I used for the coffee brandy. I think uh, Dano has heard of this within the uh, the chapter. One ounce of white rum. One and a half ounces of dark Jamaican rum. Excellent, thank you. Okay, so this is. I is said this one everything? And a half. That's all. I okay, said good. one and a half. said one and a half. Yeah. These little cans are great because that's about as much as you're going to use for a few drinks and there's no waste. Now, if you're pouring for a party, just buy the big can. Of course. Blend with the ice and pour into what? Pour into a Mr. Valley High Mug. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Duh. Right. Here. Here is the coffee rum. Coffee rum. Coffee brandy. Coffee brandy apparently is like this big thing in Maine. There's like four or five brands and they're like, no one else in the country drinks this. And no one outside of Maine drinks this stuff. All right, got that. Uh, half ounce of just sugar syrup. Oh, wait, what happened? Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. Bah, bah, bah. Oh, Mikhail, no. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm sorry. Paul and, will know what I'm talking about. Herb Deutsch and the, re and the recording teacher were in the same class one day trying to connect on original Moog synth and emo an original Moog synth 
to an SPX sound, sound effects, effects module. module. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, Dana would know about that too, because a Moog synth, uh, the original 60s version, is these modules, which are patch cords. It's all like quarter inch patch, and you're supposed to patch module to module to module. You do all this for half an hour, and then you come up with one tone. If you're trying to put that into a, a, like a contemporary effect scene, it wants to see MIDI, and you're like, no, that doesn't work. There are adapters, though. And uh, as long as you have, can get voltage yeah. control, you can make John says my dad did pick up volume two, but he knew there was no volume one. <laughs> Got it. Figure that part out. Oh my gosh. I love that you're, you're all talking spray, to each please? other. Spray, yeah, I love that you're all talking. It's, the conversation is going so fast, I literally can't keep up, and I love it. Good. I love it. You're talking to each other. That's great. Where's what you said? Yeah. Since Josie has watched every <clears throat> Pandora video, <laughs> this is the frenzy of boxes. <laughs> And also, uh, the simple syrup of the cup of any, the rum, the rum, ounce of lemon juice. Got it? Did you read all that off? I sure did. Okay. But I'll do it again. All right. Oh, I, you know what? I need, I need one and a half on the dark rum. I'll take that right now. Which, the plantation of the Karuba. Uh, this calls for light rum. Don't have it. I'm going to use uh, dark and amber. <laughs> there you go. That's what I'm doing, and that's I'm sticking to it. It'll be delicious. It'd probably be better than you would get at the actual location. Thank you. I was looking at a review today of Valley High, and it says, and one of the things that it said was great cocktails. I'll take the. Uh, Which I do think I the know. cocktails are, are good at Valley High, but they're also strong. The uh, this one is not super strong but if you get their my time it's, it's all booze it's all booze and there's overproof and you're like don't have two of those i'm just saying Ugh. in fact i haven't had this in a while yeah that's really good now, it's a jealous. nice age product and it comes to you i think this was like 21 for this bottle i'm like i'm pretty happy with that price. i'm gonna have an alexander oh, yeah. hamilton mm -hmm. of a Hamilton worth. I'm gonna have a Hamilton. One oh. Hamilton unit, and then an ounce of lemon juice goes in this baby. You know, this is making a pretty good volume. Too. Oh. One and four. Yeah. Cocktail party side. Isn't that great? We've already had the uh, dance party side. So uh, we're going to do the following onto the Hamilton Beach blender. <laughs> And four. There's no need to have fresh ice here. You already have a bunch of ice. You're fine. You're fine, I'm telling you. Still really from the last episode of X-Men 97. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Apply lid. Apply straw. Mr. B. Do you need something coming out of the other straw hole? Yeah, a straw for you. Oh, boy. I'm going to be fine tomorrow morning. That's really good. That is good. That's really good. Yeah. They've got like this play oh, all Casey, the flavor notes coming you. through. It's great. Yeah. Great sound effects. Yeah. Please, please. It's good. Well, it's yeah, excellent. This track is very cool, right? Katie's birthday. We should be holding up the cover again. I'm actually very fond of that, like really insistent beat on the right symbol. And Mark does it well, I gotta say. Animation for grown ups. Wow. Oh, yeah. I have a... Okay, decompressing, decompressing. Feeling kind of nice. I know. It's Feeling good. good. We'll see you in a while. Mm. Oh, yeah. Boom. Gonna need a comment mediator. I know, I feel like we should have such problems. Uh, we should. Every, occasionally we do, and we kind of nip that in the butt pretty fast, and then people are like, what happened to that guy? I'm like, killed. Oh, I no, not like that. I just mean, like, to keep up. Hmm. Oh well, yeah, we should have such problems. We should I mean, have we should have these problems. We should have. These problems. Oh yeah, when, whenever we get a troll, I'm just like Bleep. nipst, <laughs> nipst, bye. It, it, it happens occasionally. They find us, and I don't know how. We're not the kind of show that's getting a gazillion hits. So I mean, if you found us, man, everything else on YouTube was boring. Okay, <laughs> sure. You know what the heck? Oh, I should point out. I know my, that we, we have a pretty fun corner of the world here, but you know. My mug is from Frankie's in Las mm, Vegas. Mm. Frankie's Tiki Room. With the big pineapple headdress. So, cool. yeah. So, I feel like I brought in different. So, this one is actually from Valley High. Yes. Paul's using it. It's the, the Mr. Actual, Valley High. Actual bag. Mr. Valley High. Hello. Oh. 
here. It's not take five. Right? It is not take five. But it's um, but it's but I'm glad you're enjoying it. But the last track, this is I think the last track on album, which would make the last track kind of bluefish. And before that was the actual Clam Before the Storm from the Clam Before the Storm. Everybody needs to own this record. It's awesome. And if you're like, well, I don't have a player, get the CD. And this one comes with the download code anyway. And anyway, you just want to frame this. Some cover. of us tune in on so purpose, go. Casey. <laughs> I love it. Some of us have a reason to be here. Yay. Well, I've actually had some conversations <laughs> with several people separately on this broadcast, including Peter, including Casey, and John. Uh, Joe, as a matter of fact. Uh, Dime is here tonight. Dan, I mean, it's just very different subjects. Hi, Amy. Good to see you. I was working on uh, my buddy Dennis's amp. He was here last week, as a matter of fact, when we were feeling ill. Ellen. Oh, yeah. And uh, I, I get to the point where the thing's ready to wrap up, and I'm like, what the hell do you set the bias point at? I'm like, I don't know. And I like, I was able to test out. I'm like, these tubes are all over the place. So I got some advice. I kind of like somewhere in the middle. I'm like, wrap it up. Be done. Be done. You know, if something else goes wrong, you'll figure it out. Oh, yeah. Mm. Jess is digging the tunes. Low Straight Jackets coming to town soon. That's on their right, 30th baby. anniversary tour. I know. They're going to be touring. 1994. That is very exciting. <clears throat> oh, we got booked for a wedding, which is where that last track came from. Lee's wedding, wedding Walk. I love it. Yeah. It's very cool. I, I, I thought something like that was kind of awesome. That's anyway, great. yeah. Uh, do, do we have the link? Can people go and find <coughs> the Clams music? Because you all need to own lots of it. And of course, there is lots of it right now. There is uh, Clam Before the Show I've been listening to. There are Clams Will See You Now, Elevator Music for uh, Dentist Offices. And then, of course, the awesome Ceviche, which I really should have in my hands, and I don't, but uh, if I can scare it up, I will go and do it. As a matter of fact. Okay. <laughs> now, see, this is making me sound sick, but I'm not. You're not sick. I'm not sick. It's not sick. Not. I'm telling you. Yes, I I know that they are playing with Nick Lowe in the summer. I, I I've heard that. Might have heard that from Amy actually. But yes, Lowe Straight Jackets love them. I'm dropping the link. Go to the Clams website, buy stuff. Just picked up an old K flat ride today. Okay, nice. I love it. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't have to wake up at the crack of dawn tomorrow, but I do have to be out of here by 10, so um, I can't get too hammered. Just hammered enough. <laughs> we need more clams. All right. <laughs> Mr. DJ, we need more clams. Mr. DJ, I thought we had a deal. All right. Uh, actually, Casey, the, this uh, version, this clams band is from Connecticut. Um, yes. Hartford area. Mm -hmm. Hartford Let's all get hammered. <laughs> Just hammered enough, not too hammered. Let's do it. I've learned the hard way. You don't want to get too hammered. No, no. Just no, hammered no, 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 no. Yeah, enough. <laughs> I thought, I, since I've lost the thread of this conversation, I just see a comment. You could probably slam the phone on a hard surface, but that would crack your phone, I guess. Love this one. That's awesome. New England clams are delish. Exactly. Oh, Exactly. Yes, Amy, I did see that Rum Bar is releasing Martini Kings. Hi, Johnny. Thank you. Good to see you, Johnny. Um, Rum Bar does have some Martini Kings. We're, we're going to be featuring some Rum Bar music in the coming weeks. This week it didn't work out, but it worked out better for the clams this week because Tiki. So, yeah. When all you do is get hammered, everything looks like a jail. <laughs> 
Thanks for listening to Bill Evans. Now the clams. Oh, thank you. Change of pace. Oh, there we go. Ah, love putting it. my finger over the thing. The clams we'll will see, see you now. now. Dr. Zoffer's music from the clams. Awesome. Music to watch. Clams. <laughs> the kale. <laughs> clams bike. That's yeah. the spirit, Mikhail. Uh, Mikhail says, I was sober yesterday for my birthday so I could play catch up and get hammered tonight. There you go. <laughs> I know, right, Amy? I love this song too. Stop. Hammer down. I started at. Okay, when I used to work at a photo archive, like they had millions, literally millions of photos back then um One from films tv like whatever just like celebrity like paparazzi photos everything um they there was there was a, a sub a file called the subject file so instead of being like by film name or by tv show name or whatever it was by whatever was in the photo so it'd be like women drinking or um, patio parties or whatever, that kind of thing. So I was doing a lot of that filing for a long time. So I started subject files here because sometimes we need records that are like St. Patrick's Day records or Christmas records or whatever. Well, Christmas records is an entire shelf upstairs, but um, I started a subject file for Music to Watch Girls By, because we have at least three different records called Music to Watch Girls By, so <laughs> the early version of hashtagging, yes, it kind of was, and the weird thing was, I just want to make, I want to catch up, okay, I think I'm caught up, yes, okay, um, <clears throat> You can never go wrong with Blaze Affairs. I know, they're great, right? Maybe they'll drop by tonight. Oh, yes, Bobby! I saw it was your birthday! Happy belated! Yes! Oh, give me an epic birthday present and made me a bride. Aw. Mm -hmm. Oh, she has, so, says, just saw the surfer jets a couple of weeks ago. Yes, mm. fantastic, right? I was just including, they have a Christmas single, which you can get from uh, the High Time Records on mm -hmm. uh, pink vinyl, of course. I think it's pink peppermint vinyl, as a matter of fact. And uh, we've used, I've used both sides oh, of that within the past couple of years. It's kind of great. Oh, shoot. Whose birthday? Hmm. Oh, my God. I saw it. Okay. Whose birthday? You, you don't suck like that. So. I suck. It was birthday. You do not. Hey. Uh, mm. Damn. Yeah, straight jackets are, are touring with uh, Nick Lowe because which they have done in the past, and they are they are want to do. You don't get to use that word too often in a sentence, and they're doing it. And like I think through the summer, and I don't know where they're ending up, but they will be in and around like New York, New England. Oh so. my God. Please put me out of my misery. Whose birthday is it? Well, you're going too fast. Come on. Is that it? Don't, don't. Where, where did you do it? Shove me away from the computer. I shoved you away. You're doing this wrong. Here, what's up? <laughs> the anniversary. <laughs> uh, not Bobby's birthday. It was mine our wedding anniversary. Oh, okay. No. All right. Okay. No, but there's another birthday. There's another birthday. There's another birthday. Who? Okay, go slowly. Go slowly. Hmm. Henry Mancini, okay. All right. Oh, okay. I, I thought I missed one's birthday here. I was like, no. Hank, well, we play Hank all the time. Yes. I was just playing recently uh, to test out this amplifier. I was like, let's get some RCA you product. You played one with a very goofy cover. With the Henry? Yeah. H hanging out? I think it was the hat or something. He was wearing some, oh, it was that jacket. He was wearing like a safari jacket. Yeah. Yeah. Hanging okay. out with Henry Mancini. Yeah. Which is a good Mikhail, record. Mikhail, yes. Good record. Happy belated birthday, Mikhail. I'm glad you're drinking with us this evening. <laughs> Joe is thanking the Hi-Fi Upgrades. Yeah. Oh. Well, you, it was long overdue, and I, need, I knew you needed to just, like, get to a different level. Play so. Fred Astaire and Oscar Peterson today. So it's, no, it's just it's doing what you need to. Yes, and happy anniversary. Please. Oh. Yeah. I love that. Lamour, Lamour. Soundtrack to Hatari is awesome. Uh, if you get that on, oh, yeah. on tape, there it comes with Hatari and the Party, which is awesome. 
And then, of course, there's always the soundtrack to Gun, not Peter Gun, the movie version of Peter Gun from 1967. Great, great, great stuff. But you really can't go wrong with Hank. I mean, everything is listenable. Everything. So. Oh. Eric's been composing contemplative piano music. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's nice. Oh, Chaz says, I saw those straight jackets with Big Sandy. Yes. Big Sandy, the Flyroy yes, Boys. Yeah, we saw it yeah. at Tiki Oasis some years yeah. ago. Yeah, pretty rock and combo. Yes. Yeah. yeah, Big Sandy is uh, it's a good stage presence, I gotta say. Really. Just, uh, okay. Also, six kids. When you're as old as black and white TV, it's hard to remember anything old Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> I remember black and white TV. I probably shouldn't say that. I don't remember when television was sometimes broadcast black and white. I don't go back that far. But I remember when the second set was a black and white set. Because it was somebody's cast off. Or maybe it was like your original set. Big Sandy and is touring this summer. Okay. Joe, who was watching here, remembers that his parents didn't get a color set until like 1970, maybe. Hi, Don. Good so to see you. They were slightly behind the curve, but not that much behind the curve. We'll be going to Tiki uh, Flea at Tiki Underground. When is it? Oh, yeah. I'd be interested to know. Because we've done really? that within the past it's few years. It's so much fun. We did that 2021, I think. It was uh, yeah, so much fun. when you could get out again. And it was it was a really great market. And uh, we really I, I just had love, a lot of fun. Too. I love the way the comments come out of order. When is it? 1968. <laughs> Joe says, like, that's not what it is. 68. <laughs> Joe, Joe is referring to something else. Yeah. He's referring to Color TV. And he talks about well, you have yeah. to go have to go to the aunt and uncle's place to to see the the color TV in around 1964. Got a color set in '68. Yep, that was yeah. the time to get it. You know, all those Sonys were kicking around. Admiral was oh, yeah. pushing color pretty hard. Kenny's Birmingham says I remember Zenith was doing when color. channels played the national anthem and went off the air for the night. Yep, that's the thing. I mean, I was young. I was young. I was not an adult. But yes, I do remember that. As long as I remember, television was color, so clearly my parents got one around 68, oh, wow. 69. It was a thing. Mikhail, wait, you share an anniversary with Bobby's, John's parents, as well as your own? <clears throat> mm. That's amazing. Whoa. That is amazing. That's, that, cool. that's a, quite a coincidence. Not all they got in 1960. <laughs> <laughs> you mean there was a uh, father's little dividend? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Casey says, I don't think we had colors on 1970s wow. yet. Okay. Oh, wow, Mikhail, I love that. Those are very economical parents, i got to say. That. I think my, uh, my, my father's parents would have gotten color TV uh, when it was available. I don't mean in 1954, but, you know, when it was really plausible. Probably by about 1966, they would have said, yeah, let's go color. Quasar by Motorola. Quasar. There you go, baby. Yep. I do not think of myself as old. By any stretch of the imagination. Speaking of that horn sound. I was offended today when <clears throat> I needed to record an audition video. And normally they tell you what they want you to say at the beginning. They usually want you to say your name, your height, and where you're from. Great. No worries. Sometimes they ask for your pronouns. Awesome. Yeah. Can do. The one today wanted all of that, plus they wanted to know your age. I'm like, isn't that actually illegal to ask you? Yes. In an employment situation, it is. So, I didn't give it, but I'm like, yeah. Nice try, jerks. Yeah, nice try. We go to the relatives to watch Disney and Wizard of Oz. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. that's one of the biggest oh my gosh. The sales drivers <coughs> of color TV in the early 60s. Nobody stole our TVs back then. <laughs> yeah, I've heard the big driver for color TV because it was launched in about 1954 by RCA. But those sets were huge and expensive. And there wasn't that much color. One of the big things was get a lot more color on there. And finally, in 1961, Disney launches the, not just the Wonderful World of Disney, Wonderful World of Color. And oh, yeah. then all of their product, which they've been shooting for years in color anyway, suddenly they're broadcasting all the things like their movies and specials and like the TV the TV movies oh, with Haley gosh. Mills. Bang, it was all color. Look. And suddenly it's like, oh, you bought that? It's great. Then then like Andy Williams was had a color show in 1962. Mitch Miller. Mikhail is saying oh, my grandma's birthday and my adoption day too. 
<clears throat> that is incredible. Like wow. there's something mystical about that. There's something going on. Family. Yeah, it's, like, it's like we just threw three uh, great tarot cards. Man. Yeah. That's fantastic. So, um, Lisa, I wanted to read Lisa's comment because it reminds me of when I was growing up. Lisa said, um, my mom and dad had a console TV while we kids had a black and white TV. That's the thing. Like, we would inherit old TVs and we could put them in our room or whatever. Like, they had, like, whatever the TV. But then, like, you would get the TV that was being passed along. I remember watching the TV that was passed along in my mother's room because that's where I lived for years. I believe it was a Zenith. And it might have been a Magnavox, but it was one of those two. It was not an Admiral. <laughs> I will remember that. And I used to watch the planet. No, I didn't watch Planet of the Apes. I watched Kung Fu. I watched Kung Fu in black and white, which was directly opposite Planet of the Apes, 1974. Now you know all I am. In, in, my sister watched that in color. <laughs> she ruled the set with an iron hand. So I was really getting to Kung Fu in black and white, but I was like, I know, Apes is great, but Kung Fu Man. Do you ever watch... Kung Fu. That's the thing. I just had to had to do it. Kane, Kane was great. It was just like it was like lessons for life. <laughs> Eric says, "Yeah, it confused me when I was young and saw a pretty bunch in color, and I thought, wasn't it always?" Truth be told, apparently the news remained in black and white until about the end of 1970, and then suddenly they're like, "All right, we can we can buy some 16 millimeter film in color." Miss Cleo's investment advice. Don't need to call it to me until 1975. I love yeah, that. well, I love know. the fact that that's a memory, you know. You've done well, Grasshopper. Just always think of Office Space. Did you ever watch Kung Fu? I love. I love Kung, Kung Fu. Fu. You know. Would you like to go over tonight and watch Kung Fu? Yeah. Hi, Robbie. Great to see you. Hey, and hi, Satellite. Great to Satellite. see you. Yay. You, are, you are not too late. We're still on our first drink. Uh-huh. We're talking color television back when color television was a thing. Now it's like, well, it's all color, isn't it? Now people are making shows in black and white just to prove they get. Yeah, we only had like three to four stations to watch back then. I feel like in LA we had ABC, NBC, CBS. Yep, three networks. Um, PBS. Yep. Whatever Tribune was, it was Channel Nine in LA, mm -hmm. and whatever Channel Five was. Whatever Five was, I'd have to look that up because I did not grow up with the New York Fox. stations. Well, when I was really young, I grew up in the New York stations, yeah. and I would have known these things, but I wasn't that attuned yet. Oh, see, and... John's saying '76 when yep. the color TV. Oh, yeah, take, take that. You see my stapler? Take that <laughs> oh, right. My my bright swing light. So the uh, the big networks in New York, you had the, you had the big three, of course, because you know NBC, ABC. Uh, it, it's a huge media market, but you also had Metro Media Channel. Yeah. Um, was that Channel Eleven or Nine? Yes, because there was like which one was Metro Media? My totally. If you, I want to say Channel Tri Five. I want to say Tribune was which one became one Fox? Uh, Metro. <coughs> Metro that Media was became five. Channel Fox. In LA. Uh, became became yeah, Channel Five. Okay. So maybe it was fun. And Metro actually, it, there's, a, there's a lineage with that. Fox inherited from Metro Media. Metro Media inherited it from the Dumont Network. So this goes all the way back to 1948. I like Dan's comment. The Munsters must have been the first black and white show for style show. Mm, mm. <laughs> Munsters. Okay, Channel 5, Channel 11, yep. 11 and 11, yep. We had, oh wait, hold on. Julie says, my great grandma had color before we did we'd go visit and have the color turned up to eye hurting maximum yeah because you were color deprived <laughs> color deprived let me see uhf channels in massachusetts okay oh yeah pix yep Hunter martin's life it in color Hunter. yeah i know that was a big thing back then. so here's a that funny, girl in color funny thing yeah, about were... rowan martin's laughing in color is that it was shot on videotape but editing videotape was still pretty rough so what happened was what the the standard procedure was to transfer it to 16 mil film in black and white and edit that and then you would go in and make the edits on videotape because it was really rough to get those edits right oh yeah electronic the, video hadn't really come in yet swing line so the place where i take a class there's a red stapler there and i'm not i don't know whether it's a swing line and like i can't get close enough to look without being a creeper i'll try again this week but i know what to find a red swing line no, well, we have a, it's like basically a chew toy, but. <clears throat> Floby. <laughs> <laughs> the Floby. Cut your own hair. 
Well, because we happen to have the uh, office space of the game, which I forget where I found this. I think it was actually over at uh, Ollie's, probably. The cash pit. Cash pit. I'm talking. We're talking the cash pit. Don't open it in my beautifully appointed tiki area. I'll have to open it over here by the air cleaner. And the game actually comes with your great, great um, accoutrements like instructions. You know. <laughs> that was upside down. It's always pretty good. Uh, stickers. You can get tiki some walk, stickers. Don't run. Yep. There's a, here's a picture of uh, Lumber. That'd be great, you know. And in fact, you get all your cards and whatnot. And there's a mini game to play, and it comes with the red swing line. And the red swing line. I said it's basically a is a squeak toy. chew toy, but it's a squeak toy. So yes, we have the office space. We've not played it yet, but we did actually try the MTV game with the, the crew, and uh, we were all like, "Man, these questions are all out of line." So we gotta try something else. <laughs> John says, I told my parents that I didn't want a color TV because the ones I'd seen were so horrible. <clears throat> and I could tell what color everything is already. <laughs> I, don't I love this. that, Don. That's yes, so that's funny. That's fantastic. Robbie says, we didn't have a color TV until I was in high school. I didn't know it until the, the Wizard of Oz had a mm, color part, mm -hmm. right? There was a, a great <laughs> gag, I believe, in the... Uh, Onion some years ago oh. when the colorizing was was happening in the 80s yes. talking about like you know the, the big colorizing company decolorizing the middle of the Wizard of Oz yes yeah, so Mikhail saying I also referenced that my pen skit from the kids in the hall I do that a lot mm, mm. you took my, my pen. pen my pen <laughs> and then there's a sketch with the nose hair but we won't need to go there no, right no. Now. anyway so yeah my pen was pretty awesome and of course we've already talked about Girl drink, <laughs> girl drink drunk. Yep. Hey, have a drink, right? Well, I, I don't really drink. Oh, you wouldn't want to disappoint me, would you, Ray? Oh, you know? Errol, that's so funny. Lisa says I'm Lawrence in office space. That's so okay. funny because Paul does that every week. Whenever he sees Peter show up, he's like, hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. <laughs> he's totally doing Lawrence from office space. Hey, Peter, turn on TV. It's a risk exam. So. Yeah. Turn on channel nine. Yep. Channel 5 was showing Flintstones until the 80s. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, and let's not forget the uh, reruns of mm. Honeymooners became a really big thing in the middle of that period. And then we finally got there in Rhode Island around that time. Uh, we definitely had three networks. We had uh, at least two of those were in Providence. And then there was Channel 5 from Boston. We got very poorly. Channel 2 from Boston was uh, GBH. You remember GBH content because they were the ones who produced Zoom. Now, local TV... All of you in New York grew up watching the Magic Garden. Oh yeah, now you're talking. Now that was wasn't that PIX did Magic Garden? I could be wrong. We have the records, so I just need to go take a look and at Paul and Carol and say, oh yeah, yeah, there we go. I did not grow up with Magic Garden. I was I, I left too oh, early. Yeah. <coughs> but we got news and review, so there you go. Buzz Bunny Roadrunner and Elmer Fudd. We went to a um a Looney Tunes. Look, not the silver. Um, Looney exhibit at awesome. Museum of the Moving Image. Oh yeah, yeah, that was really cool. A while ago, that was so cool. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Don't get me started on Kids in the Hall. Ah, <laughs> I love Kids in the Hall. <laughs> <My couch. laughs> I tell you, if these things that they did. Don't disappoint me, do you, Ray? We don't, we don't have to get started on the lyrics to Oh, uh, Magic Art Blinded by the Light. Okay, PIX. thank you, Peter. Till nine. Yep. Yeah, fumble fingers, got it. Well, it's great that there was such thing as local TV. Metro Media did a lot of their specialty programming, like for instance, Wonderama. Hi, Eric. Good to see you. I was rough. Wonderama with Bob McAllister actually was like a popular thing, and people remember that really well. It's a big kid show. We hear that every Saturday on the kids show. Because we no uh, longer have the leg. Thank you. Yeah, yep, please. Oh, Amy says we had a color because I I remember the red and white parachute when, when the, the capsule splashed out. Oh, yeah. We I'll, moved overseas and didn't have TV at all. Yeah, when the Apollo moon launches came down. Well, that's like my mom. I remember that because like her, my grandfather, her dad was like a big early adopter of these mm -hmm. things. So like he always had TV. Like when it first came he had out. Yeah, you said probably but in then, 1947. But they'd moved to different cities because he was a baseball player so like so he started out in nashville which had tv and then they moved to colorado springs i think it was memphis but yeah no tv yeah i think it was memphis oh memphis yeah. okay but memphis then they moved, TV. no tv nashville. so like they had a tv but then it went in the closet because there was no tv didn't do it but he also picked up uh, a console with a radio 
AM, FM, and a wire recorder. And she has memories of like, you know, she should be watching right now. She has memories. She's watching. She was like a, a big fan of, I think, Lone Ranger. And one day Lone Ranger's going, and he's like, go out and play. She's like, no, no, no. She's like, go out and play. So she does, and she comes back. She's like, I missed Lone Ranger. He said, no, you didn't. And he plays the wire back. Isn't that great? Recording, 1949. That's pretty cool. We actually do own a wire recorder in this like, household and some wires. And you know what? They will play fine. It's a very durable medium. Okay, oh, I love that. <laughs> that is some dedication. Mr. B is very good, and I recommend him. Get the mug if you go to Miss, uh, go to the Valley High in San Diego, which I also recommend. I say go there Sunday when you can do their specialty brunch, because that is awesome. Okay, that was, but it's very good. This this it mug is. comes to you from Las Tiki Vegas, room. baby. Yes. Vegas oh, Baby yeah. delivers you some pretty good tiki these days. Remember when you could tell how old a Mr. Rogers episode was based on the colorful walls? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. my God. I remember when I, you would see, like, really, really ancient videotape, and it wouldn't look that different. It just it just looked slightly weird. Because I remember seeing a rebroadcast of Peter Pan. In 1955, the Broadway version was broadcast on uh, in color, but it was not actually recorded because they didn't have color video. Oh my God. In 1960, they did. And I remember seeing a rebroadcast on that around 1973. You gotta read this. And it was pretty cool. Okay, here my mom says, my great grandma hated color TV. So when she would visit from Windsor, New York to Pennsylvania and watch TV with us, she'd ask us to turn the color off. Oh my God. What's wrong with this color set? Ah. What's this? Anyway. <coughs> oh, see. Peter's saying in Northwest New Jersey, we had New York and Philly Blue channels. Jams. Yeah, sure. Yeah, because you could triangulate all that stuff. Good luck turning off the color on a modern TV. Oh, forget it. It's, it's 15 steps and like the results are terrible. Don't even you know the them. weird thing? I'm not, I am not changing the subject. I have watched some classic films, like some 30s films on contemporary TVs, and it looks really weird. Why is that? Well, there's, uh, our set works fine, but like uh, the kids set actually has She a, said the color was too distracting. Uh, well, I guess she's just not used to what things look like. Um, the uh, kid set actually has a setting that's supposed to be like a hyper real setting, and it makes it look like videotape. And it's just it's very, disturbing it's, it's very wrong. It's very wrong. So, like, wait to turn it off. It doesn't look more realistic. And that's the thing, like, early 60s black and white video has a very specific look because the contrast is all skewed. And I kind of love that. Like, watching old episodes of the Jackie Gleason show post honeymooners and it's kind of fun but you know it just it looks it, it looks off and there's those like handful of episodes for the twilight zone that were broke that were recorded on, on videotape a lot of fun but yeah yeah and uh don is talking about his dad actually worked on the first sets in what albuquerque i think it was hey move it television station albuquerque he was ready man in ww2 hey nice. gearhead sparky i love this song Oh, this is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shaker 7, didn't we record a video for this? I which did. is available! If Dano has not dropped where the clams are, please go find the clams. I because, did, but yep. I might drop it again. I might drop it again. If I can find the actual ceviche in time, I'll throw it on. Oh, Lone Ranger was Mom's favorite radio show for episodes of... Oh! We're on videotape. Oh my gosh! I believe it's six actually, and uh, oh, I, I know them pretty Boy. well. And Thank like, you. Some of them are not great, but some of them are perfectly good. The one with uh, Inger Inger Stevens is actually really good, and looks really kind of odd because of the way it's shot, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> <clears throat> Who watched shows that were cool but now corny? Yeah. Cool turns. What happens over forty-five years? Cool turns to corny. The, the simple fact is right. that the more things change, the more they stay the same. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Put out a, a question to the audience which shows hold up the best for you what is yeah. your what's your favorites what really works 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 i'll say right off the bat if i'm playing this music i'm thinking 5-0 baby i was thinking 5-0 holds up pretty well 5-0 like virtually the entire series they get they get pretty creaky by the end but even those are watchable so i would say like almost the entire 12 years of 5-0 is worth your time. Columbo is good the entire time. 
that holds up. I feel like the crime shows hold up pretty well. Um, they're talking about grabbing perps, so there. Oh, you go. Mash, yeah, Mash. Mash holds up. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I Mesh agree. in his later years got earlier years was a little goofy and then later it's got very psychological. Oh and, yes, uh, Peter, Bet Your Life. We love that show. <laughs> oh yeah. There Pretty much talking. except for the last four episodes. <coughs> Kojak, yeah. Okay. Yeah, agree with all of these. Kojak is Night very Stalker, yes. Night Stalker. <laughs> Night Stalker. Oh yeah, like you yeah. you cannot go wrong with Kojak. Kojak! He, he will never actually stay on topic. And then he's just like, well, what about this? Right, yeah. oh, good to see you. Yep. Barney Miller. Oh, Hawaii Five-0. yeah. Once oh, yeah, Kojak. Mission Impossible. Good. Love it. Barney yeah, Miller. Actually, yeah, absolutely. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm MI, with all MI is kind of awesome. My mother, the car. <laughs> I'm glad somebody's putting a vote out there. <laughs> they got to tell you, we've seen some of them, and people talk about it as the worst thing ever. Oh, Star no Trek worse than Avengers and Batman. Yeah, I was Forever. like, yeah, why not? Yep. Oh, Avengers, like, particularly the oh. color Avengers with <laughs> Mrs. Peel. And the fact is, Mrs. Peel was preceded by Kathy Gale. Oh, I mean, Kalaka she was preceded Boy. by Pussy Galore. That's, they're all good. Kalaka Boy, it just has to be music <laughs> we can get the rights to. That's yes. the thing. Like, this, since yes. this is the clams and Dan is here with us, it's all good. We're going to get nailed anyway, but you know what? That, but that's okay. I have carte blanche. Yeah, as long as we can get the rights, we will. From the zone. Yes. So. Oh, yeah. This House Bandit Mothers on Peter Gunn. Oh, I think you're singing Newhart Joseph Newhart right is here. awesome. Yes, I agree. Yeah, yeah Bob Newhart yeah. show. Yeah. Jo- Joe's been watching Peter Gunn's, and i got to say, I've seen a few of them. They're really cool. Uh, for that to... for that matter, you also had the yeah, simultaneous Naked City series, early 60s, shot in New York. Had everybody on Broadway starring on that show. Yeah, Very you cool. can you can suggest a game show sure. of horrors. What's my line consistently uh, with It was best. pretty kind of awesome, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think, like, what, what would I say that hasn't been mentioned yet? I'm looking, hmm. Policewoman. Yep. I'm looking over a collection. Police, definitely Policewoman. Uh, well, for sure Liberace. I'm kidding. <laughs> but it is, it is still kind of great. Still kind of great. Check them out. Mm. Yeah. Um. Hmm. I'm definitely thinking police woman. So many of them are covered right now. I can't, I can't see what they are. Um, yeah, copyright infringement. Yeah, call this number and ask them. Uh, <laughs> oh, Match Game. I love Match Game. Well, I would be able to do this, but Brett is in a pairing. I love Match Game. All in the family. <laughs> That's true, though. That is very true. Um, I even think Mary Tyler Moore show in a lot of ways. I feel like the issues she had to deal with are still still relevant. Still relevant today. Still yeah, Police Woman is so good, right? I love Angie Dickinson. I can't. I don't want to walk away because Paul's over there doing something, but I'm sure I can only see part of our TV collection. And suddenly I'm like, TV show? What's a TV show? Oh, a horse is a horse, of course, of course. Well, you know, talking horses, it was as relevant now. It was as relevant then as it is now, so. Genie, yes. Jink. Win, lose, or draw. Oh, yeah. How about Welcome Back, Cotter? Um, <coughs> Cotter, you know, actually, the first couple of seasons, like, do very well. I, I feel think like, it gets hokey after that, but yeah. Yeah, well, I feel like in a way, Welcome Back, Cotter was... I look at... I, I will be observing kids that I see in the city, and it's like, it's not far off of Welcome Back, Cotter. Hi, Clinton. Good to see you. Oh, under the weather there. Oh, that was us last week. I'm so sorry you're not feeling well. Ugh. Banana splits. Yes. Oh, man. Splits. 
Oh, Golden Girls. That's a good one. Oh, jeez. Casey says, saw Golden Girls on stage this past weekend. And in one scene, Rose takes acid and tells the others she imagined she was on the <laughs> that, made, that made me cough. That made me cough. That is, that, that is so good. Hilarious. That is so damn good. Uh, Car 54. Did somebody rep, did somebody just represent the Chico and the Man? That's a good one. Banana Splits, possibly the yeah. greatest rock band ever. I'm just gonna say uh, that right there. there. That album is so good. Leave it to me. But it's really it's a toss up. But is it the Banana Splits or Lancelot Link? I mean, Lance Link and the Evolution Revolution, man. I used to watch Lance Link as a kid. It was a weird, weird damn show with the splits. I'm gonna go look at, our, at the bottom row of the collection. Go take a look in there, kind of thing. And just, see what I'm. The not splits of. Adventure Hour was awesome, and there should have been more of them. They only produced one season, yeah, and they just Columbo. kept repeating them and chopping them up and blah blah blah. It's like make more TV, damn it! It's like there's only one season of popping stuff, and it's like 16 episodes. But everyone's that's not very stuff much. Now. now they're all popping stuff. For God's sake, you go out to the streets in Manhattan, and it's like, okay. We don't need to buy any of this. Stuff. It's uh, it's it's ready to go. But I will say that uh, you, of of that, there should have been more pop and stuff. But then again, the Crofts produced like ten other series, oh, and they just went, oh, oh, I I've got to vote for Cool and the Kongs from uh, Casey there. Uh, I'm I'm gonna fight you on that, man. I think it, I think it's a splits. They're just yeah. awesome. Although Kongs, I gotta say, I, I could Ghost and Mrs. Muir. When we did our broadcast recently with all that cross stuff, I did not find that record. It's in the house Ugh. somewhere. But I did find. Another thing missing in this house. I did find Shot. the kids from Caper Records. So there you go. Hey, we tried. We tried. Clutch Cargo is. We watched, bleeping weird. Bleeping weird. We That's watched Clutch Cargo recently, and I've never seen it before. I was like, what wow, this the is hell is this all about? Messed up. It's very messed up. Big book for oh, Rocky. Drag show Golden Girls. No, oh, but I would love to. Because I have, love Golden Girls and I love a drag show. We have so. vote for Moose and Squirrel from uh, Ms. Broska. Yes. Excellent. Yep. Bullwinkle, Bullwinkle and Fractured Fairy Tales. <laughs> yes. <coughs> yes, and of course there's always like, you know, Mr. History. And uh, Colonel McBrag, oh, Sir, you're going to love that kind of thing. All of you in Tatiki must love the adventure sort of thing. Uh, yeah, I went and looked over there, and everything Rhoda. that was buried was... I was thinking Rhoda. Did you name check Bob Newhart? Bob Newhart was already name checked, but yep. yes, great yeah, one. Odd Couple was name checked. Odd Couple was name checked? Odd Couple. I don't think that was name checked, no, but... Uh, Jack Benny was name checked? Jack Benny. Benny holds up. Like anything. Yeah. Uh, that girl. Hell, did we name it that girl? This is one of the greatest series ever. It really like, deals with know, great topics, and it gets very contemporary. I feel like, I feel like that girl. I love that girl. Love, believe me, that girl is like in my heart as number one. Um, things get solved very easily for her in, in one half hour, <coughs> but um, but I love that show. We have a request from Dano for a banana themed playlist for a top secret project. Oh. Okay, uh, let's talk offline and we'll go from there. Definitely. Oh, and uh, and Errol's talking about Johnny Quest. Is this the greatest television theme ever? This is like this so cool piece of big band music. Very, very awesome. The center square Paul Lind. <laughs> what else? The Flying Nun. Oh. So what shows don't hold up? <sighs> I, I, I will just say this right now, and some people will disagree. I think Bob Cummings does not hold up. You watch him, <laughs> and it's just so forced. <laughs> I think he was definitely, like, stooping the uh, the person doing the cast. Oh, WKRP, yeah. good one. Yes, Bob, good one. Yeah, WKRP. Great one. Eric says, are my comments being blocked? I don't think so. I'm seeing it. Oh, okay. Eric, I see. Uh, Playboy okay, After Dark, Johnny Quest. Oh, Playboy After Dark. <laughs> Playboy After Dark is good. WKRP is a great one. Would you like to take dictation? Sure. And then I want to make another dream. Okay, Jungle Bird? Jungle Bird. Okay. As dictated from the bum, so it must be good. Well, I don't know. Sometimes he tells you about his bum steers, but he's an honest man. 
the jungle bird as here i'm gonna go we were i was looking for things which are tropicals with unusual ingredients i started with something with coffee brandy nobody uses this junk anywhere but we did it and it worked really well so jungle bird is a campari drink starting with three quarters of campari uh -huh. Half ounce of fresh lime juice. Uh -huh. Half ounce of sugar syrup. Uh -huh. Four ounces of pineapple, unsweetened, please. That's a lot of pineapple juice. A lot of pineapple. Okay. We're going to find out if this is balanced or not. And one and a half ounces of dark Jamaican rum. Okay. Shakes, shake, and pour on strain. So I'm actually going to blend because I don't need to shake when I got this sucker. And we're You're gonna, gonna go shake from there. and strain? No, I'm going to shake and pour. Okay. No, I'm gonna blend it with the Hamilton Beach. Okay. I recommend these things because they're cheap and they're good. Why is that? He said that. Anyway. Blah, blah, blah. So three quarter ounces of the. Um, what are you pouring into? A tiki mug. I'm pouring into a uh, of this guy, a jungle bird. Oh, a tiki mug. Okay. So four ounces of the pineapple, huh? Well, that should be. Four ounces of pineapple. Yeah. You said it, not me. He said it. I'm going with it. I don't know why. Okay. Hex to the hex. The tick. Okay. The tick. Wait, hold on. Oh yeah. Oh jeez. Oh wow. Okay. Hold on. Good. Let me tell you. I'm missing stuff now. <laughs> Seinfeld doesn't hold up, Amy's saying. Okay, I kind of believe that. Like, I was, I was um, it's about time does not hold up. Yeah. No, oh, probably not. <laughs> Definitely not. Oh, Johnny Quest got canceled because it was so expensive to make, but it was so good. Okay. A lot of things had trouble because they were so expensive. God is my right? witness. I thought turkeys could fly. <laughs> I mean, I think the problem with the Banana Splits Adventure Hour was there were so many components, it probably was expensive. Mary Hartman, Mary Sorry. Hartman. Is that one that does hold up or doesn't hold up? That's the question. Okay, yeah, yeah, let me know which one. Hi, Pepper Tree. Good to see you. I would say Mary Hartman holds up because it's just so awesome. Dick Van Dyke Show. I feel like Dick Van Dyke Show it holds. It holds up, though. Hearing some steely dance. Oh, we got a Thunderbirds or Go. You were hearing some steely dance. Yes. Yes. You were, in fact, we're hearing the version of Asia called Aha here by the uh, Clams. We have more we'll clams. see you now. I only have one other Clams, which I've already played. I'm going to play it again. If I find the. We have ceviche. Chivas. We do? Yes. Where? Probably on this computer, honestly. You want to check? I know, but we've got a CD for it, too. Yeah, I know. Oh, you've been playing from your phone. I've been playing from my phone. Oh, boy. Which does not have this. But Ceviche is probably on this computer. Could we play back from here? That would work, wouldn't it? I don't know. You want to find it? Check it out. I play Ceviche in a second. I'll try. Anyway, I just put in the pineapple and nothing what do I have to do? else. Go find it. And okay, then wait, hold on. Albums. Okay, hold on. Which, unfortunately, are not in intelligent order. Or are they? Maybe they are. I don't know. No. Did we oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait. Clans will see Ceviche. Ceviche, here we go. Two tracks? Where's the whole album? All right, let's play. Oh, God damn. Let's play um, Climb Before the Storm again. I will do that. Thank if you. I ever think about how to make this rectified, we thought about this very late in the game. I would have we... <laughs> found it all. Clearly, we need to. Get... I'm so deficient. Uh, yeah, we need to get Ceviche in the computers and stuff. Where is the, hey, where's the remote? Oh, Lisa says, I just got a text from my daughter and she's helping friends, parents move from Connecticut. They're in Somerset PA for the night. Okay. Oh. Speaking of Connecticut, comes from coming in fast and furious. We didn't organize this, just happening. <laughs> yeah, it's just a thing, man. To let the magic smoke out. I never heard of that until Paul. Hey, can you turn on that? You're there. Thank you. Finally. Made my life better. Okay. Oh. Hey, hold it. Okay, pepper tree. Yes. I love all the suggestions. I think it's great. 
Okay, wait. Now, are you using that? Nope. I will use that. But you gotta, okay. So, he's making a jungle bird. Yeah. Eventually, he's making a jungle bird. Well, maybe I'll just get busy on my brain. Maybe you will. So, well, actually, you know what? Before I do that, my next drink, which this kind of fascinates me, it calls for two tablespoons of brown sugar dissolved in one ounce fresh lime juice. And you're supposed to do that before you make the drink. So while Paul's off doing whatever it is Paul's doing, maybe I will do that. So I've got my brown sugar. I've got my brown sugar right here. I need an ounce of my fresh lime juice. I'm going to use Paul's measure. And we decided this was lime, I believe. Okay. All right. Hi, Devin. Good to see you. Okay. Now I need something to mix this in. I'm just going to use this coupe here. Magic Paul stuff, I know. I've been married to Paul long enough to know that he goes off and does magic Paul stuff. Okay, so here's my two tablespoons of brown sugar. Get this dissolving in this ounce of fresh lime juice. Get a spoon to help him along. What am I? I am making something called the Lovely Lovely. And it's as most tiki drinks go, it's not a joke. It's um it requires some prep beforehand. So I'm supposed to dissolve two tablespoons of brown sugar in one ounce of fresh lime juice. So we're going to do that. Paul has a secret laboratory somewhere, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, he does. Have you ever made a jungle bird with Aperol instead of Campari? We have it. But that's a good idea. This underground spy tiki bar. If I found out he had an underground spy tiki bar, I would be so mad. Only because he didn't tell me about it. <laughs> like, excuse me, underground spy tiki bar? At least you could have done this to me. Oh, oh, thank you, Dad. <laughs> Sweet Jay, if he threes in your inbox, thank you, thank you. Okay. Next week, or maybe even after Paul comes back. Although I don't know when he's coming back, so I might just download that right now so we can listen to it. He really took off. Anyway, okay. Kind of like that show Grim with the secret trailer of stuff in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> says, right? I feel like underground spy tiki bar is kind of the husband jackpot. Exactly. I wouldn't be mad except that like, excuse me, you didn't tell me about this? I want an underground spy tiki bar. Now everyone does. Now we'll all have them. And we'll have to have like have them connected via tunnels. You see here in Jersey City. I wouldn't be surprised. Check my email. Maybe it's ceviche. Maybe we can listen to it tonight. Cheers, Louise. You know when you have a special account? Like, ah, here we go. Got it. Get your files. Yes, please. Download. Okay, hopefully it won't interfere with the broadcast that I'm downloading. <laughs> but I feel like downloading is way easier than uploading. So I use WeTransfer for acting stuff and it takes forever to upload. But 
uh, oh, my special business account that I'm like, I will only use this for business. It's so full of junk now. Guess what I'm downloading? Make it answer. Ceviche. Woohoo! Isn't it good right. when you've got the composer right here? Because yeah. I was able to find the awesome Resilience by Tim Mayer, which we actually don't have any lights to play. So I could probably get in touch with Tim and in a couple of days we would. Uh, but we did not actually, yeah. I couldn't find some H.A. It's, you know, it's downloaded. Physical right. media, man. What a pain in the neck. So if I, um, I, 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 I'm going to definitely add it here. But I fear that if I tried to play it from here, would that be too much work on the computer? I don't want to. I don't want to suddenly tank our broadcast. I doubt it. You're just playing okay. music. Okay. All right. You're trying to play video, you got a problem. Okay. Uh, but I'm gonna add it to. What I'm doing. Add it to library. Hold on. Yep, 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 yep. You make your turn. I don't know what's in it. Here's what's in it. Anyway. All right. So, look. The Campari. Pineapple, half simple, half lime, and what happened to the dark? Sounds good. Okay, so he's, he's going to be adding one and a half ounces dark Jamaican rum, mm -hmm. three quarters of an ounce Tintari, that killed the lime, half ounce fresh lime juice, half ounce simple syrup, and he's already added four ounces of pineapple juice. <laughs> okay, good. Now I'm going to go back to this. You Wait, can tell hold on. It says gum. It's not actually gone, but it is actually simple. Who's got a spotlight thingy? I love it. Oh. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Falls back. Let's interrogate him about his spy lair. <laughs> uh, all my recording are my NAS instant access to my 50,000 albums. Oh, my God, Eric. Wow. Okay. Oh, see you later, Peter. Great, Bye, Peter. great to see you. Thanks for dropping by. Wait, Dime, are you taking off too? Oh no. Oh, okay. Dime, did I miss you? Oh man. Well, I wish Dennis were here. I was just using the. Dime, did I? I thought Aruba I missed Dime. On the original so label. Sad. He brought it back. Oh. It was kind of awesome. I love it. All right, so we need to. Oh, Dime, you feel better. Yeah. Dime's getting a bad migraine. Oh, I'm boy. so sorry. Oh. That's a terrible thing in what we're Oh, yeah. You've got to take care oh, of yourself. Yeah. You gotta take care of yourself, and we will see you in no time. So take it easy, turn the volume okay. down, cool it. I'm okay, going to grab my transfer. a bird mug, and I'm going to put this on the buzzer. Four in your mug. It's a bit of a narrow aura piece here, but I got it. Oh, mine are on a spillage. We'll take care of that. Yeah. Ooh, that happens. Wait, can and I do it? Life. Can I do it like this by the folder, or? You should be able to drag that entire thing in there. <coughs> no, that's totally wrong. All right. Are we doing this wrong? You want me to take over for a second? Sure. Do that? Well, you can take over while I make my drink. Yes, I could. Oh, I thought you were already done. No. Oh, I this is literally my brown sugar dissolved in my lime juice. <laughs> That's going to be a little tart. <laughs> Jungle and, bird. And horrible. I thought it was rather tart and um, horrible. horrible. Mm. This is good. I never thought I liked Jungle Bird. Jungle but... Bird has a nice tang to it because of the Campari. I mean, it's well I done like and it's that. balanced, and it's one of those things that's fun. And Campari belongs in more. What is the of... Blue Bird Tiki Mug called? Oh, hello. Oh, that's just that's a, dynasty. a dynasty mug. Yeah. And I'll tell you which they come, model it comes. It comes in like four different colors. Yeah, it does. This one is actually the DWB for blue. 
and it's not telling you what the model number is. Uh, Dynasty Wholesale. Find these online, you'll find this, and you can buy them wholesale. You have to buy a crate of them, but still, you probably want them. I got clean. Okay. All right. Bluebird, like the Arthur Lyman album behind it. Bluebird. Do, 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 do. Okay. So, my next drink is called Lovely Lovely. Mm Mm-hmm. And it calls for a lot of crushed ice, like probably more than I have in here. Which I just shot all over. Very nice, very nice. I know. Okay. You gotta be careful. That wasn't very neat. Okay. The, uh, the old computer actually took a few hits from uh, some blue stuff and eventually conked out. <laughs> Has a tendency to do that. Corrosive lime juice, after all. It's no joke. One is not kidding. One is definitely not kidding. All right, I'm going to pulse this to crush my ice. Do that. Feel, Give it. I feel like, excuse me. Rock that back and forth, back and forth, and I'll help you. What'd you do? No, just leave it there. Okay. Leave it, leave it, leave it. You said rock it. Are you doing? Rock the control. There you go. Not the, not the topper. Control. There we go. Okay. There you go. Okay, we're gonna figure this out because we've got the album and I'd love to play it. So it has to be here somewhere. Oh, it's in downloads. There we go. Boom. Give me. Downloads. Let's go. Downloads. Go. Go, 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 go. Hello. I love having access like this. Give me a moment. It will take no time whatsoever, baby. Ah, back to the music. You please do not occupy the entire screen. That want me to do this. <clears throat> I feel like the rocking <clears throat> is over. The rocking of the, probably... the rocking of this is dead. I don't know. This one. Wait. Oh, okay, got it. Yep. He's refusing to help me out here, which is okay. Thanks, Apple. Thanks, Apple. We really appreciate you, but that's fine. Open, uh, we're importing, and we're going to go. But you uh, complete uh, doing what you're doing. That's what I tried to do. Yeah. With all of the numbers, it should be fine. Should we select the whole damn thing, I, please? I'm telling you. You're getting what I was getting. Throw this thing down in a minute. Keep doing what you're doing. I need to see my recipe. Uh-huh. Maybe what we need is two different computers. Perhaps we do for such things. I'm telling you. Open. Open. There you go. Do it. Did you do it? You did not do it. So we're going to find it. Did you get a recently added? I'm going to go to recently. We're going to find it. It's going to be a problem. And I'm telling you, it's no joke. Oh, it's so oh, This used to be better software, which it is not now. So there we go. Thanks. Hashtag thanks, Apple. Thank you very much. Really, really helps me out. Okay, what are you doing? Go back to... I'll take care of it. Boom. Okay. I'll figure this out, folks. We're going to play it. We're going to so. get some clams. Okay. We're going to get some clams. So, so this calls for one and a half ounces of overproof Yay. rum. I am using lemon heart. So... Or should we say... <laughs> Don't jinx me. Don't jinx me. How's stuff coming through? Oh wow, I think I have just... The bomb. Is that lemon heart? Oh wow, we're killing the lemon heart. Yeah, well, we have a whole other unopened bottle over here. We, we received two of these as a gift at one point. That's Thank really, heavens! That's a really great gift. Hey, Kevin. Okay. And it, was, it was a stealth gift. It was dropped on the uh, porch. And then, okay, it calls for the brown sugar dissolved in the lime juice. Lime juice. I also need an ounce of fresh lemon juice. Mm-hmm. Actually, I'll trade you. It's right here. And thank you. Done with this? Uh, yes. One ounce fresh. This is a lot of citrus. Found these at the Goodwill recently. It's like these are really great. I love this size for coupe. Okay. Twice was right. And half ounce 
Curacao. Ah, there we go. That I'm using Matilde. Matilde is an excellent thing. I'm going to add a little bit of peel like to my drink, by the way. <clears throat> half ounce? Yes, in fact. Curacao. I've never tried making this before, but it's called Lovely Lovely. Thank you. Sounds lovely. I know. I feel fact, like for a tiki drink, it's not that many ingredients. Some of these things are 25 things. You take a look at the Don Beach drinks. Good grief. You're pouring this into that mug. A mug. Pour into a mug. Uh, like the sound of that. There we go. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yes, overproof rum. You dropped a farm on me. Baby, baby. We didn't fix the overproof. In fact, uh, there are several kinds of overproof starting at 110 and 123. I think they're using 151. Woo, baby. It's a lot, but it is what it is. I confess. I did not start with crushed ice as I was supposed to. But you blended it, so it's good. So that's why I blended the that's crap out of it. I'm actually looking for the recipe. So I'll read that again to you. The recipes are actually going to all of our patrons after this broadcast. But they're also from Beach Bum Berry. If you would like to patronize, then feel free and you'll get all this. But I'll read it to you right now. Lovely, lovely. One and a half ounces of 151 proof amber rum two tablespoons brown sugar one ounce fresh lime juice one ounce fresh lemon juice half ounce of curacao one and a quarter cups crushed ice dissolve the sugar and the lime juice pearl ingredients into a blender blend serve in a tiki mug or large snifter that is your lovely lovely that's a pretty standard sort of a tropical don't you think very tart from the uh, all that lime juice a little tart, 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 tart. It needs, little... needs something. Oh, what's it lacking? This was like a made to spec. I, I love me some tart, but it's not very well balanced. No. Um, no. Wow, what's wrong with I'm that? I'm going to find something to add. You do that. You do that. You know, when, when the thing is wrong, we'll tell you. And like, I just made the oh. jungle bird with all of this Campari, but a ton I'm of gonna... the pineapple juice, and actually it works. I'm going to pour it back in here and re-blend it with some more sweet -blend. stuff. Because that is just tart as hell. I like the comment from Amy. Oh, you blend. <laughs> <laughs> it needs a little something. More, <clears throat> more curacao for sure. Yeah, some more sweet stuff is a pretty good idea. Yeah. I'm just saying. That's what I, that's the way I like to make my re drink. Reblended this bad boy. I tell you. Still enjoying the Jungle Bird. And you know, I didn't think that this would do too much to this massive Hashtag mug, tart as hell. But it actually, <laughs> it filled it and it was good. Colonel yeah, Keg, hi. Artist. Good to see you. What's your doll? Yeah. Uh, you pepper tree, you're absolutely right. This sometimes, and you've done this. You've done this on the show where you're like, whoa, <laughs> some malort. Wrong. Oh you know, it's like it's like take a shot of vinegar, take it like, whoa, wrong. You know, you gotta actually temper that somehow. That's malort. That's funny though. Yeah. Well, hello. Okay. We have some have uh, good idea. correspondents watching right now who will tell you something about malort. I will tell you the one thing: it is pretty vicious. And I was pretty surprised the last time I took a shot that I. It was actually much worse than I had remembered because we have been used to so much bitterer stuff, so much things that were that were just why way out of line for that. Malort seemed kind of tame by comparison. It's not like it's a walk in the park. The stuff is wicked bitter, as they will tell you around Saugus. But um, I can I can take a shot for for the uh, the motorcycle gang because basically it's a it's a motorcycle gang dare shot in a biker bar in Shy. That's all it is. So I'm good with that. Here we go. Here we go again. As Amy says, more is a slap in the face. Yes. <laughs> it's either a kick in the chuckets or a slap in the face, and I think it's both. What did you do? 
I haven't done anything. Uh, I've, I've just done nothing at all. Oh, that's so much better. There you go. Improvement? Let me try. That did it. That's so much suddenly better. Suddenly that's balanced. What the hell were they thinking? Like half an ounce of sweet stuff? What do you mean? No, it has. Yeah, it has half an ounce of sweet stuff and like two ounces of citrus. Found it. Here we that go. That was no joke. Oh, good. You found it. Yep. Now we have two there cards to go, and I could just play the lot and the like symbols. You know, they're not. Oh, wow. Oh, there's the Ellen Waite soundtrack. We could play that too. <laughs> Be child. Ellen Waite has good show. music. It's it just does. It's got great music. Right. Well, when we're done with this, I will bring over the. You know what we have? And then we'll be able to do. To do, 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 do. We have these, um, these dried kiwis. I'm going to add one. Why not? So this mug is from Contiki in Tucson. I was trying to get out mugs of places we love and haven't been in a while. So that is fun. Okay, so yeah. I added another ounce of sweet stuff. That helped a lot. Um, I am not going to argue with the bum because he is just hey, making up. drinks based on recipes that he's hearing from people. In their little notebooks. Yeah, back in the day, who, who were working at these bars way back when. But, wow, I feel like someone must have been remembering that one wrong. You know... Sometimes they get it off, and then, like, I don't know. What can I tell you? Uh, we're going to go back to here, and we're going to take yes. it out. There we go. <laughs> <clears throat> the music playing in the background. Uh, I know. We're, we're going to be trying to find you more music, I swear. I, I love it, too. You know, I, I Mrs. really... Mrs. Scum, I'm offering a key to the teeth. <laughs> Drag it on the strap. <laughs> exactly. That's, That's kind of what it was like. <laughs> We'll see. Uh, well, I, I appreciate when we used to do episodes with Oh, Colonel music, Keg, we would love to. With music that was so obscure that no one was going to nail you for it, and then suddenly we're getting nailed for it. I'm like, forget it. We're done. It was so stupid. Oh, Middle Tennessee. I was... Oh, good night, Casey. Hey, good night, man. Good to see awesome. you. Yep. Um, I was thinking we're... We're sort of overdue for a return visit to Graceland. I can do Graceland again anytime. It's it's a fantastic trip in a, yes. in a pretty damn cool town, I gotta say. Yes, the, my earrings too in Gettysburg Man made these. What, what are the destinations? The actual destinations yes. out here are as follows. Uh, beach, Ohana, Bar. <laughs> That's kind <laughs> what of What about awesome. this one? And this one, same? this one's gonna tell you, same thing. Yep. Okay. Beach, Ohana, Bar. Yes. Yep. Ohana people. Yes, they are a sign that have like different, you know, like Antarctica, 5,000 miles. Yep. You know, like, yeah. Soul 50. Yes, Kenny programmed me them. I love them. Yeah, they're very cool. She does great work. She should drop her link so that you I'm can a, find her stuff. And again. we should drop the clams again so you can find their stuff because yes. we are currently listening to the clams uh, before the storm. Clem for the storm. We have listened to alternatively the Clems will see it now, and we're about to listen to. I forgot Ceviche. what they said. I like that too. People are like, what that thing you did that time? And I'm like, uh, people will ask I, us. I don't some, remember that. <laughs> people will ask us later than these broadcasts. It's like, you did a drink last week. I'd love to, I'd love to try that. I'm like, what did I do? <laughs> if you can give me the ingredients, I'll whip it up for you, and I'll do <laughs> it exactly it? the way I would have done it because. You have to find out. Yeah, you know, sometimes we're improvising, and I'm like, make it happen. And then then the moment passes, and you're like, I don't know. I mean, let me take a look at the video. It's like, uh, blah, blah. oh, yeah, yeah, we can do that. Sure. You know, Some of this is not that hard math. It's the, the formula works kind of the same way every time. But we can tell you when you should be using, like, a quarter of an ounce of Campari versus, like, an eighth of an ounce of uh, yeah, Perno. Because that's a big difference sometimes. Perno is very strong. Thank Drops you. will make a difference. Campari is very strong, but it holds up. It gets tempered by all that all that sweet stuff. So, yeah. The funny thing is, I, I'm a fan of Campari. And, like, Perno, like, if you give me more than a drop, I'm like, nope. Well, but, yeah. yeah. 
Oh, Michelle. Hi, Michelle and John did Flanders Bunch. Yay. Oh, that's a good oh way to, nice. That's a good way to go. So glad to hear that. No, Eric's talking about Ed Nyquil. You know, it works in everyone. Well, it works in, like, you know, the flaming mo anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my earrings are one of a kind, made only for me. Oh, I'm so honored. I'm glad I wore them. Ooh, that's so cool. Ooh. Normally, you're wearing a necklace that says care less. I know. Which comes to us, and you saw this on the air, folks. It comes to I us. I got it for my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That's pretty cool. So. Oh. Picard's pastis is smoother than Pernod. I believe it. Well, most things would be. <laughs> uh, there's pastis and there's um, Herb Sun. I believe it's Man Nolans. And there's yet another Anise liqueur. I find them to be all fairly interchangeable. So the one that's a really good price, keep doing that. Uh, Perno is oh. finally making an actual absinthe these days, but you can just get the standard Perno. Kelly Chess says, program the treat menu into the holodeck. I love it. Oh, now you're talking. Yeah, Sally says, what did you do to uh, that blended drink to unpucker it? Okay, so. So, it had way too much sour. Yes. So, I added a half ounce of triple sec. Curacao. Half Curso. ounce of Curacao. Curacao. Yeah. Same thing here. But, yeah, seriously. Um, yeah. I added a half ounce of Curacao and a half ounce of vanilla liqueur. Mm. And that did the trick. So, one ounce total of a sweet liqueur and it actually balanced yeah. it out. Yeah. You've right. got to put that sort of thing in there. You've got to actually balance what you're putting in for sweet and sour. And base liquor should really be about one and a half or two ounces. That will make it work. Anything that says like half an ounce of liquor and a bunch of oh. liqueurs, it's going to be super sweet. Yeah, it was. You got to watch out. It was gross. It was pretty tired. And we've had some things that are designed that way. And I'm like, yeah, I don't care for that. And, and I'll it, balance it. And I'm thinking of the, um, yeah, you, you'll hear people wrong. say, life is too short to drink bad drinks. And it's like, I mean, I, I'm not. Too true. I don't want to say it was bad. But it wasn't it good. Was, but it wasn't good. Which one very. But it's like, but he's taking them from, like, he's interviewing people who used to work in the tiki bars back in the day. Maybe they're not remembering it. Well, maybe or things right, got a little bumpered over the years. I can't believe anyone would have wanted to like that. I mean, a notebook's a notebook. You did that that one mm. time, the way, but the fact is, you take a look at Don Beach drinks and you take a look at them over time. He was constantly effing with his drinks. Yes, it is he was a good always reason. effing them around and he made them different. And then suddenly it ends up being something else and it's like they're all legit. It is a good reason to have vanilla liqueur on hand, it's yep. good for that kind of thing. Yes. And there's always liqueur 43, which is a heavy vanilla head. Well, no, it's bad until you dry it. Exactly. It's true. <laughs> it was just very, very, very tart. Very tart. Very, and very, like I very... said, I like tart. If you know, sometimes people drink it being like, "That's really tart." I'm like, yeah. "Ooh, I love this." You love that better. So. So it it's too to be, tart for you, man. If it's too tart for me. It wow. Is too tart. It's pretty tart. Yeah. But yeah, but the fact is that reminds me of the oh. game we used to play on the air. Uh, cocktail roulette is a lot of fun <laughs> when we just grab something from a book and try it for you. And definitely, I will try things and I'll say, "We're gonna see what it's like." And I'll I'll tell you, "Don't make this; it's horrible." You know, oh, so well, you don't the have tiki to. Tiki bars are in the cool place, or I guess I'm going to the hot place. Oh man! Well, of course, you look at the depictions of the cool place and the hot place. The and, cool place is all about culture. harps and clouds. And Seriously? Then, and then in the hot place, they're like drinking cocktails. And cocktails. Listening to jazz. And hot like, jazz. I want to go there. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at my buddy John here. I'm like, you're a horn player. Where would you want to be? You wouldn't want to be with all the good players. It's like, Charlie Parker did too much heroin. He's he's destined for hell. Well, I'm going to be there, man. In the cool That's place, it. it's like, we listen to New Age and we drink milk. I'm like, I want to go to the place where they drink martinis and listen to jazz. I'll be there. I'll be there with all the oh, jazz Josie players who did it too much. Oh, Josie just came out of her wine box and wanted a cracker. And she put it right in the water. Ah! I love it. There you go. Josie wants a cracker. The pursuit of perfection, which is seldom obtained. Perfection can never be obtained because perfection exactly. is perfection. As human beings, you'll never get there. If you want to strive towards it, that's one thing. If you want to say, well, I just want to prove what I'm doing, that's one thing. If you want to try to get to it, forget it. It's stupid. No. Just make what you do well. And that's the thing. <laughs> you I should like write it. a self-help book. There you go. 
I can help you all. I can't help myself, but I can help you all. Here, wait, hold up, but sorry. Wait, give it. Sorry. There. Uh, yeah, trying to actually attain this is ridiculous. We're trying to like improve. Like trying to get something better than what you're doing is good. <coughs> this is what we do with this. This is what people do with music. This is what people do with literature. You're just trying to get to that next level. Oh, I know. It's all about it. Oh, Eric, that, that's the thing, though. Like, as an artist, you don't know when to quit. What is the quote? There was a quote I heard years ago about, about the, the guy who was sculpting, and he, like, makes this, he makes a casting of, like, this brass sculpture, and then he starts polishing it and polishing it and polishing it. And like some like layman comes along and says, "Sir, this is beautiful, but how do you know when you're done?" And he says, "I'm done when they take it away." Oh, I was thinking of a different one. I was thinking of a quote that was like, "A painting is never finished; it just stops in interesting places." Yeah. Sometimes you got to stop and just uh, okay. Sometimes you just have to brush down if a patron is paying you for a painting that person's yeah. gonna want it sometimes so that's the thing you gotta stop yeah you're never actually done effing with it and if it's your piece you can keep effing with it and you can keep going and going that's the thing you just have to get to the point where it's it's, <laughs> it's good enough to release and then you're like okay that's where a deadline comes in handy in music anything else is just called a remix yeah whatever but put it out there otherwise you'll never have a chance to get people to hear it Boom. Although I have started for my audition videos. Now, I, this is not a hard and fast rule, but I've started saying, like, I don't want to do more than three takes because, well, first of all, you don't know what they're looking for. So it's like I have known people who will spend all weekend trying to get an audition video perfect. And it's like, you might not be what they're looking for anyway, so anyway. do not bother with that. But I'm also thinking that, uh-oh, hold on. He's going to make this work. We just, it's not even technical difficulties. We need to get no. more equipment. Um, audition videos. Oh, as someone pointed out to me one time, when you're on set, you're expected to deliver on the first take. So the idea that like, oh, I'm just going to do like 500 takes of this audition video. First of all, it's not 500 takes is not going to help you. And second of all, you're not going to get 500 takes on set. So do not let yourself get into you the bad nothing. habit of doing that. Anyway. And stay dry, of course. Oh, oh, Gettysburg, ma'am. Good night. It's so good to see you. Yes. Yeah. John says, when I was writing, I knew a piece was finished when I mentally took a step back and felt it was done. It was done. It was, it done. was done. It was done. There you it go. Done. It was done. <coughs> That's not real life. Exactly. So I know. You're, you just got to. People, please. You just got to do it and move the F on. I'll see if this works. Better work. It does not appear to be working. It's definitely playing. It is definitely playing. Hmm. Why isn't this playing? Do I need to be broadcasting some more? No. No. This should just be going. All right. Unless it's, unless we'll it's going out to fans out. right now, we can't hear it. Do you hear music? Wait, I heard it for a second. No, you did not. Oh, okay. Let us know if you hear music. <laughs> I hear music and oh, wait a minute. I hear you singing, yeah, there's no one there. Oh, okay. I'm going to start over, though. Yeah, do that. All right. Hold on. Starting over. I want the full Burp. thing, damn it. Okay. Ceviche, the clams. Now we talk about ceviche, baby. Now, if we need to turn it up, let us know. Yep. I'm right here. I've seen that same look of fear in Lisa's face <laughs> when I had to go to get an A to make my point. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Can you hear it now? Okay. I think so. I love Morgan Freeman when he says to the director, I'll do another take, but I guarantee you it'll be the same as what you saw before. That's the thing. Like, did you cast Morgan Freeman? Morgan Freeman is going to give you Morgan Freeman. He's going to use the same damn thing five times. Oh. Oh, places are music for ears. Thank oh, you. Oh, 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 now oh, oh, music. Okay, good. 
No music. From no, no music to now music. I, I love now I love, music is way better. I love this series of Amy comments. No music. Now music. The insertion of one, letter, one consonant makes one letter it makes all the difference. All the difference, baby. Particular. And Amy would be one to tell you. No music. Wait a minute. Now music. And thank you, Dan, for sending us ceviche. I would have sworn we had it, but we do have it. It's here somewhere. I think we have a copy. Oh yeah, easy reader. When are you guys going to start grilling again? But well, he's been grilling. I have been. Which it means has to that be good I weather. Do it. Uh, it doesn't have to be great weather. I've been out there when it's been like that. about 10 below, and I would do it again. I'll just get out there with a shovel and dig it out, and we'll fire it up. It's a grill. It runs on fuel. It will melt everything, and it will, it will do just fine, people. It's super. I've uh, made recently uh, some great burgers, which we actually mixed it ourselves, and uh, we have definitely done green beans, which are awesome. Eric's awesome. grilling now. I love it. Hello. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. Earlier today, we used the oven to make the pizza. It was awesome. It is awesome. It's good. The oven to make the pizza. <laughs> so we will actually do a broadcast where, like, you're here and I'm outdoors doing some grill action because that's always fun. We to did have that. Fun. Yeah, that was Split fun. Split screen. And that's, that's big fun. And uh, we'll get some more music. Hello. It's good. Boom, 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 boom. Ceviche, baby. The third in a series of glam records Match. for your listening pleasure. We dropped the link on you. Go find it. And oh, yeah. Find the grilling the in the clamps. snow. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> grilling in the snow. There was a couple oh, we did. Gosh. There was one we did kind of live where I was just out there digging it out. But there was one we did many years Ooh, before. Oh, pizza on the grill. Where I dig out the grill. And it I was love that. really, really bitter that day. Pizza yeah. on the grill and hamburger slice. Yeah. I love it. Because you can do pizza on the plancha, which we have, and it's like it's a way to do it. It's, it's awesome. It's great. The uh, the Corey Kelly trying to shovel a pathway. <laughs> I just remember that. I remember being so depressed. I'm like, I'm wearing jeans. They're saying me in jeans. This is wrong. Like, yeah, no. Yeah, it happens yeah. occasionally. But it happens occasionally. And Paul had to hold her drink. <laughs> oh, it's a shame. It's a shame. But you know. <laughs> What I love about grilling in the snow is yet. if she hands me a beer, I just put it directly into a big pile of snow and say, hey, it's going to keep cold, isn't it? Boom. That's a kicker. And uh, we've, we've done that. I, now I lost my train of thought. I'm trying to think of like what... what She's what like Max from the Grinch. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Doing it, doing it, but... Yeah, no, well, there's, I, there's literally was, anything you can want to do in the grill, you can do it. I mean, we do we do fantastic vegetables on the grill and it just is so good. Pizza I, we've not well, we reheat pizza on the grill and it's it's better than the microwave, definitely. Uh, burgers anytime, wieners anytime, sausage, all sorts of sausages on the grill. I have not actually done like a big tofu thing on the grill except for the sliders. So sliders, uh, the vegan sliders were great, great on the grill when you make them from that mixture. It's really good. Yeah. I don't want to ask right now because, okay. I'm going to wait till the music starts up again. Can mm -hmm. you hear the music? I want to make Please. sure you can hear it. Mm -hmm. Oh, John says, by the way, Paul, I'm going to see Anthony Braxton tomorrow. Nice. He just totally took off, but, but I say nice because I actually know who that is. Kielbasa on the grill is the best. That, yeah, that would be amazing. I take it on the chin, Lisa says. <laughs> I just always come back to Tootsie, Sandy and Tootsie. Will he be back? We are listening to the music of the clams. Ceviche. I'm going to drop the link again. Because if you do not own their music, you're missing out. And you might recognize the cover model on this album. Sand. The sauerkraut is going to be messy on the ground. <laughs> yeah. 
So like, you know, you use it on the grill. You use it near the grill. Did I do? Okay. New Yorkers will know what I'm talking about. But our former governor, his girlfriend was Sandra Lee from the TV shows. The, the, I keep wanting to say Real Housewife. Semi-homemade, that was it. Where she, like, opened up cans and poured them together and was like, look, I cooked. Um, yeah, semi-homemade. Oh, yeah, yeah, and Sandy. But she always said, she always pronounced it like grell or milk. Yeah. And I feel like I, I just said grell. Did I just say grill? I meant grill. I didn't hear that, but grill. We you weren't here. If you did, maybe you did. We'll check the rebroadcast. Grill. <laughs> this one is in our car now. Oh! <coughs> Jonathan Schwartz. Just, oh, Jonathan Schwartz. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> as long as she didn't channel bird flight. Oh man. <laughs> So in 1952, Bird appeared with Diz on stage in Sounds San like she's Francisco a bit on. <laughs> with the Great American Music Hall, and they actually had the great Max Roach on drums, but only for the first <coughs> first night. After the first night, they had Joe Morello for two dates, but then he had to, had to bug out too, so we had another drummer who was unidentified on these third set of sessions, but we're going to be playing those now. For you, we have 14 alternate takes, which we're going to be playing in 30 minutes after I stop talking. Step aside for one second. Sorry. I just want people to see my. You, you go like that way. I did decorate this whole thing tiki, not realizing Paul would be blocking it the whole night. So oh. just please behold. Behold the. Tiki. Please behold my tiki corner before Paul steps back in the shot again. Okay, you may come back. Okay. You, you sure? may. You may come back. I have been blocking the whole evening. It's true. You have. That's the thing. You do this great stuff, and I it's like, oh, wait a minute. That's where I'm standing. Bang. I tell you. <laughs> Just going to cook up some clam. <laughs> <laughs> we, we love us some DJs around here because of the things that they do, but some of them would just do this very specific thing that make you go, oh, for Pete's sake, why? I would love you to play some music. And uh, the, the great DJs we know play a lot of music and a little talking. I love that. Bad Paul, you're blocking. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just, when I realized we were not going to be out there this evening, it's like, quick, decorate. Decorate, fast. So, yeah. We have been at this Ohana thing. And we've had attendees come to us and say, hey, like, uh, I totally forgot all my decor. Do you have any decor? And we were like, here's a box of stuff. They're like, oh, cool. And then, like, they decorated a room and went up there. And it was so great. And I'm like, hey, man. And then that's they. Awesome. And they're like, here, have some drinks. I'm like, this is awesome. At the end of the whole thing, when you're just like, when people are banning you and you're totally Girls, there's no out, worries, Paul. I blocked the view, too. <laughs> all right, I've got a couple of drinks on me. But so I'm gonna say it. Sometimes people come to you and say like, "Oh, I need some decor for my room. Do you have something I can borrow?" Yeah, sure, here. And then they never give it back to you. That has happened too. And then you don't want to confront them because it's like that's weird and cringy. Now I'd be like, "Hey, by the way, you took my stuff." The stuff. But back yeah. then I was like, "Oh, I don't know. I shouldn't I say know. anything." Like, uh, so, well, yep. Don't steal from me. It's not cool. We provide so that you can listen. The great thing is that we're doing this broadcast and playing back from this machine. So maybe we could put all the music on here and then we just can DJ and be like, oh, boom, 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 boom. Don't Hello. steal from me. Yeah, I know. Seriously, Amy, I know. And you, you've done these things too. You know. That is rude, right? Like, I just, and I don't, and there are people I like. So, I mean, it's, it's way too late now. It's like the time to confront would have been like 10 years ago, but now I'd be like, hi, by the way, do you have my thing? The simple fact yeah. is that when we do these things, we, we loan things out, we borrow things, <laughs> and then we get home and I take a look and I'm like, oh, wait a minute, this is somebody else's stuff. 
And I get oh, in touch Lisa, with them, and they're like, you. oh, okay, get it back to me later. So. Eric says you drive by their house with weed seeds and plant them in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you like, be tossing it out the window, like, what are you? Flinging the dandelion oh, seeds. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Oh, my, my lawn's so you guys are always classy, yeah. cheeky. I try. Hey. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, where do they get this stuff? Probably the thrift store, but still, so, it's just like, it was a score. Yeah. Anyway, um, here's a simple fact. I'll shut up now. I'm probably not loaning you this mug because that's gonna stay with me. I'm just saying, but I'll loan you some good stuff. Well, that okay. But the thing is, this is a cheap, this is a cheapo mug. Mm -hmm. But that particular cheapo mug has sentimental value because we were there. The actual price tag on this oh. says Halakeiki. That's where we bought this baby. Hello. Big fun. Oh, Eric says those tiki outfits look very summery to me. I feel I, this is good because it was really warm in here earlier. So this is a good thing to It's be pretty warm in here right now. I mean, I'm feeling pretty good and I love the matchy matchy yeah. from time to time. When Eric we says do it. we have the same problem with our flip top bottle. Oh, flip tops. Brew beer. I tell them, bring them back or refill them. See, I would be all about bringing them back. I get a, How what? quickly can we get back there to refill this bottle? Wait a minute. I'll get a free refill. I'm back at you. And those those oh. copper toppers like the Grolsch bottles. Seriously, why not? <clears throat> yeah, the good stuff is off limits. Yeah, this was never this was never anything like super expensive, but nevertheless, like nevertheless, like one of them was Coco Joe's, and I'm like, mm. it wasn't free. So yeah, cheapo doesn't always mean low quality. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Like sometimes you just can't replace things. Like maybe it's it wasn't a lot of money, but it was one of kind. You know. Or, Budget with not audio, made anymore. budget with record labels has sometimes meant some pretty shoddy product. But then when you got to the CD era, <laughs> there were some really cheap labels that were not this. bad. Chess says, so, I've heard you could write nasty words in their lawn with fertilizer. <laughs> uh, uh -huh, if only uh -huh, they lived uh -huh. anywhere near us. Like you know, stuff I say, this is a gift, or I say, hey, don't forget to return XXX because it means something to me. Yeah. Yeah, and when they don't return it, I feel like the uh, the Moai Mafia needs to visit their house and say, "Hi, you borrowed some stuff from Amy. <laughs> um, you got to give it back. You got it. You don't got it. We got to talk. You know. I love that the Moai Mafia. Just send John Wink to their house or Liam Mason. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I'm kind of thinking yeah. like send Joe Pesci to their house. You borrowed some stuff. You got it. You gotta give it back. You gotta do that now. Yeah, cool, man. Hey, I'm telling you, you gotta do that now, or we're gonna like take you on back. So, so the hilarious. the train we take into the city goes directly through the Meadowlands, and like all the like little canals, all the little like swampy canals. And I just every time we mm. do it, I'm like, how many bodies are in there? I tell you, who is not there? Where's my stuff? <laughs> Where's my stuff? Where's my stuff? I gotta have my stuff. Which makes me think of um, the, like Family Guy there with like you know, hey Brian, <laughs> you got my things? Uh yeah no no like you know Brian, where's my money? Hey Brian, where's my money? <laughs> you know, boom 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 boom. But uh, yeah, I'm thinking of like who is not in the Meadowlands? I will guarantee you. You're never going to find any evidence of, you know, the most famous. But would he have been in the Meadowlands? Like, I thought that no. was more Midwestern. No, well, he wouldn't have been in the Meadowlands and it would not have been buried underneath the giant stadium. Because why? Hoffa is nowhere to be found. No. He's definitely not in New Jersey. So we're just saying all these legends. Nowhere to be found. Like, are we somewhere underneath this? Like, no. Put this where you can he's see it. not. And now our title's covering the whole thing. Um. Yeah, no. Jeez, really? Yeah, I'm kind of done. Nothing of that infamous album cover of Throbbing no. Whistle, are you, Kelly? We have that somewhere, don't we? We have the uh, gr the greatest hits or the <coughs> best of whatever the hell they called it, which is a big tribute album cover to Martin Denny. I love that. That's, yeah, it's that's kinda, what I was Kind of great. Of, yeah. Kind of great. That's why I bought that. And uh, it's pretty much what I need to own from Throbbing Whistle. And we put that on from time to time. Yeah, subhuman. It's sort of a sort of a classic <laughs> of the genre. 
Uh, oh, Naxos put out some great classic. They're always like nine bucks. Mm, I love that. Like they were trying to like underprice the market. At the end of the day, what do you need to charge anyway? There were some really great labels for that. I, I really appreciate the smaller labels that were doing a niche thing. Like, uh, I'm trying to remember who did that. I can't remember it. But next. All the beer we hand out to our friends, everyone, we make sure we get our bottles back. And clean. And clean. My brother in law, he sends them back next. Oh, no. Always. Uh, <laughs> Do we need to visit your brother in law one time? And he'd be like, Hey, so what's going on? Oh, Amy. Hey, we I heard know. that you're sending some bottles back. They're kind of bad. I mean, Amy, I'm telling you, I Amy looked says, at this bottle. It's awful. Amy what says, are you talking about? I'd be looking to return everything at Ohana to make room in my car. Oh, I know. Going, that's us, too. Going, that's us, too. It's like, look, we, we actually, a couple of years ago, we left, like, a, like 25 feet of reed fencing and stuff because, like, we literally we couldn't could take not it. fit it. We couldn't take it. Yeah. It was not cheap, but it's like it had to go. It had to go. I love that. A lot of unsolved mysteries. Oh, yeah. it's pretty simple. Amelia Earhart was traveling across a huge stretch of the Pacific. Yeah, exactly. Where did she crash? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. 2,500 places. That's where she crashed. Gone. Okay? It's not so so complicated, guys. I'm going to let you my cheeky stuff now. That'll be the end of it. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will find you, and I will break right. all your cheeky records. <laughs> that sounds like scandal. On TV, the, yep, the, the TV show, show Scandal. <laughs> <laughs> That's very <clears throat> scandal. Today. Yeah, seriously. I think we need to visit uh, Lisa's cousin there. So, yeah. Can we just <laughs> show up at the door? I need to get some of my go <laughs> my, my fellows, and we show up as a couple of goons from uh, like Newark. Hi, yeah. So, anyway, Lisa says, you got some bottles here. You got some bottles? Are these the bottles? These look <laughs> terrible. You want to clean these out or something? I mean, come on! Stuff. This is this is awful. I mean, this looks like I somebody threw up in here. Come on! What did you drink this and then throw up in this? Come on! Put the clean this out or something. Get it back to Lisa. She needs to refill this. She Don't can't she refill this. This is full of puke. Get it out of here. Kalaka boy, there is still one hidden egg. Uh, truth, truth. Maybe I'll find it. Well, I moved it today to make room for the tiki stuff. And I was positive he saw it, but he didn't. I didn't. Is it where it was? It's still where it was, but it's no longer in this room. Okay. Things moved out of this room that might have had things in them. Things. Things and ideas. So, But it's well, still on this floor. It's still on this floor. It's one of the two rooms. We know this. Or three rooms. Now. I actually... I asked her specifically about that. I'm like, look, I, I don't want to be looking forever in stupid places like out in the tiki when you could hide something for a long, you could hide a body out there. But could you actually hide something in one of these two rooms? And actually, yes. Go to their place and say, you've heard of Havana Syndrome? Want to recognize my version? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I love that idea. Let's <laughs> make sure one of them calls himself Guido. <laughs> Hey, uh, this is Arturo, <laughs> and I'm Guido. So we're here to talk to you about your bottles. Arturo. We hear that you've been sending them back dirty. This is no good. You've got to clean these bottles, okay? Here's a bottle of cleaning solution. Get you some use respect. That. <laughs> Look, I'm going to come back in a week. If these bottles are not clean, I'm going to break some legs. Get okay? some respect. What is wrong with you? I'm not telling you that anything bad is going to happen to you, except somebody's going to break a leg. Right, Julie? That will be you. Thank goodness it wasn't a hard-boiled Easter <laughs> He would have found that by now. But probably. listen, jackass, clean your goddamn bottles because these people are filling them with really good beer and it's going to go bad if you have some, some dirty bottles. Do it! People who don't listen to these things, clean your damn bottles. Don't make me break your legs. Look, I clean the bottles before I take them back to the deposit machine. Who can afford one? Come on. Serious. Didn't rewind the tape. Oh, man. <laughs> you got to rewind the damn tape, man. They did used to charge you a fee for that, didn't they? We used to have a tape rewinder so we would not get that tape. So we would oh save the God. machine. We still have a VHS machine. This is why I did not give my <laughs> age on that tape today. Don't even talk. I'm not telling you how old I am. Don't even talk about cassette tape and all that. And it's illegal for you to ask. It is illegal, so don't ask. I've actually been transferring a Give lot Give them of, an age range. A range is a great idea. It's like, here we go. I'm going to dodge that stupid <laughs> question 
with a stupid reply. I'm going to dodge that illegal question and not report you to my union. Yeah, because you don't want that. And it would be yeah. a real drag if I did that. And then you'd be like, I'm not going to hire you. Oh, well, I know. you were a jerk well, I mean, and I reported yeah, you. Yeah, anyway, whatever. I hope, I hope they're not watching this. No. If you're watching this, I'd be great in your film. Be kind, rewind. <laughs> I remember that. Back when we At least this isn't laughing, sorry. I don't know what you're talking about, wink, wink. Uh, oh, so. I had an audition tape to do today because now many auditions, you don't show up in person. You send isn't that them great? Tape. They, I love that. They send you the script and you do the designated section and send it to them. And it's great because you don't have to leave your house and they don't have to pay for a studio. It's all good. It's all good. Um, but, and usually you do a slate at the beginning where you say your name, where you are. Name, your height, height. Blah, blah, blah. Maybe your agent or your union affiliation. The one today wanted to know your age. Wrong. Really? It's actually illegal to ask your age. In most hiring, yes. In hire, in all hiring, it's illegal to ask. Union my is age. not exempt from such. So I'm like, I'm not gonna tell you my age. Wrong. Why did you ask? So. You asked because you thought you could get away with it. Wrong. Lisa's laughing hilariously because she said, "You can break legs," and then said, <laughs> and then you said it too funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old enough to know better and do it anyway. That's the thing. Like, I thought, okay, I'm secure. I don't mind. But at the same time, I'm like, no. Because this is the kind of stuff that gets used against you later. Like, I, she was too old. Like, well, if you don't know how old I am, then go ahead. Tell me how old you think I am. I'm in on that. Topper. Hey, Toppy. If they'd ask, yeah, that's the thing. Like, sometimes they'll ask what age range you are. And it's like, great, no problem. I will give you a 10 year age range. The actual age I am is not any factor in what I could play on screen. And I have played some things on screen within the past few years. Right, it is so That wrong. they hired me for, and it's irrelevant. It's you could have answered Forever 21. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I'm young at heart. And they probably take a, take like offense at that and be like, hey, listen, or you're the guys who asked this stupid question. You can give them a math equation, too, and be like, I just turned 29 for the 25th time. Okay, we're going to solve some matrix algebra right now, and you're going to find four equations. It goes like this. X plus Y, paren, Z oh. minus square root of E squared, close paren. And that's your first equation, sucker. Julie says, I panic when someone asks, how old do you think I am? Oh, jeez. I know. Like, I don't know. The whole thing is. I like to say when people are talking about. If you about, don't know how old I am, that means I'm a <laughs> kind of a great actor. Thank you. Check it, sucker. Cheers to that, Eric. Mm. So how old are you guys asking for a friend? I will answer that with a riddle. Or not a riddle, an enigma. Mm -hmm. Poten potentially wrapped in a riddle, but probably not. I um I remember some things of the late mid-century era. Truth. But I was not tripped up by computers. Yeah, How's that for a response? It's kind of like um, the... And many people have outed me on my Facebook. They're like, hey, enjoying your blah, blah, blah reunion. So if you wanted to dig into my age, you could just go to my Facebook that page and find out. I've thrown a few, uh, you know, uh, Easter eggs out there. If you just look at the rest of the broadcast carefully, you'll find out exactly how old you think I am. And you're probably right. Hello, my 558A. Mm -hmm. Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Harvey Keitel. <laughs> <laughs> I've lived in New York too long. 
I'm yeah, taking it on. Like, but it's kind of good though. I'm like, yeah. That's not so bad. Yeah. So, some days you're just sort of in New York. You're just sort of living a Martin Scorsese picture, which is not forever a, young. Thank you, Aaron. Not a bad place to be. I like forever young. All things considered. You get asked for ID occasionally. I take me out. And I, is that good enough? I was 69. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Try that on for size. Ben has to get to the bus. If he misses it, how long will it take Ben to get to the next one? My answer, Ben needs a new watch. <laughs> exactly. If two trains pass each other at Albuquerque. Ben should just stay home that going day. Going east and know. west. What's wrong with this equation? There's a single track service in Albuquerque, so they would actually hit each other. That's what's wrong with that. Equation. They were a conundrum. <laughs> Wrapped it up, boom, boom, boom. Ripped up like a. I'm telling you. Like Mr. and Mrs. Harvey could tell. Mm. I'm enjoying this little business right here. Can't think when people ask It'll how many people bubbles. were at the event show. I was just at. Oh, jeez. Hello, Zav four nine nine. Naps never had a girlfriend. It's good to have these things. I mean, we're just talking about <laughs> ideas, things, and ideas. Oh, these things are hilarious. I love the fact they can rip, we can rip on this, and we can start talking about so ageism and blah blah blah. And what are people asking? Anybody who asks that question, it is an illegal question. It is an illegal. Do question. not answer. And it's kind of like anybody saying, "You need to give me your so so social security number." No, I don't. And I think, no, I don't. My social security number is my own. And as much as it is out there in the dark web, so what? Are you the IRS? Are you the IRS? No, you're not. Are you my employer? Then no, I don't need to give you. Well, that. yeah, your employer, you did need to give it. It is actually. not an ID number. <coughs> don't use it like that. If we need a national ID number, that's a different question. If you were in a vehicle traveling at the speed of light and you turn your headlights on, would they do anything? Answer yes and no. That's the answer. What's wrong with the equating, Paul? No one cares, and I like math. <laughs> <laughs> we can give you some good math problems. It's very true. A few years ago, people used to think he and my daughter were sisters, but now not so much. She'll be at 57, and my daughter's 39. We aren't sisters any longer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, only give your social security number when they offer you the job and the HR department is talking about your salary. Exactly. Are we talking benefits? Well, I'll give you my soak sack. Boom, done. Or it's yeah. like, yeah, oh, you've hired me and we've signed the contract and Let's you want talk. to deposit money in my account? Let's actually here, talk. Here's my social security number. Oh, man. And I'm looking at that comment from Lisa <laughs> here. All I can think of is uh, not Amazon Woman on the Moon, but um, a Kentucky Fried movie. With like, you know, like oh, yeah, yeah, Rosanna Arquette. This is this is really no. That's yeah. actually. Oh, it's not the one you fried. mean? No, I'm thinking of the one. Oh, I'm thinking of Amazon one. Kentucky yeah. Fried, where there's the the guy and he's well, he's with a woman, and like you know, he's like, Mrs. Like Mrs. Johnson, and he realizes that he's been stooping the mother, not the daughter, and she's like, people often often mistake me for my daughter. And it's a whole riff on that commercial from the 70s with, like, you know, the skin cream. It's hilarious. <laughs> and if you're not familiar with this, Lizzie and Errol, you really, really need to. And I'm going to tell you, it is not safe for work. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. But it's hilarious. Hell no. The fact that it is not safe for work makes it hilarious. So there we go. I don't think the vehicle belonged to Schrodinger Paul. Oh, yeah, Schrodinger's equation. Here we go. Okay. I'm three years cat. younger than Lisa, and I feel like I need new batteries. Oh, oh I, I know. know. For Pete's sake. We try, we try, we try. Sons of bitches. You sons of bitch. <laughs> you far <got> any source. <clears throat> But it's good to have these things. And here we are, you're listening to Oye, Oye, Oye Clamo Va. I, I just love that title. <laughs> it makes it makes the heart do Let good things. Let me make sure you can hear it. Huh. I have to stop mainly the English language. 
I have to say, I was a little worried earlier because, I'm like, I said we would be in the tiki tonight, and like it was just too chilly. It really was not conducive to a good show. But it I has been great decision. to have Fantastic. music. The clams. I gotta love it. We have a better sound system here. I mean, it's not that mm. out there. I, it, I need to work on that out there. We try. We try. But here, it's really is is it's, it's uh, sort of ideal and it's very easy to use. I'm playing back from the computer right here. It's pretty happy. And we're kicking off the tiki season. It was 80 in New York City on Monday. I showed it to my coaching session. I was dripping sweat. Like I was literally just, I, I was a disaster. And my coach was so sweet, but <laughs> I was like, please don't notice the fact that I'm like drowning kind in my sweat, own eh? sweat. But it was just because I was not prepared for it. I wasn't yeah. dressed for it, you know, because well, it was 80. We, we were, yeah, and the morning was 42, so you were I know. like leaving. When we left home, cold. I was in a wool coat. And then you get there and you're like, this is twice <laughs> what I need. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. <clears throat> these journeys, these journeys. I have to say that... Living in Manhattan, like not even New York City, because I've lived in New York City. I lived in Brooklyn. I've lived in Queens, Queens. But like Manhattan, where you could just go home between appointments or whatever. The best part would be you could just drop off your coat. You could grab your coat, whatever you needed. Just spin it up. Have a, I feel like I'm going to sound like Bill Murray and Tootsie. I feel like... There should be a place in New York City that you can rent to just store a coat or leave a coat. You used to be able to go to Grand Central Station I know, and rent they don't a do locker, that anymore, but and that's a problem. That's a real layers. problem. I had layers, and I was freaking boiling by that time. I had like this tiny little shrug on. Even the shrug was too much. I got there, I peeled off the shrug, and I was like... <laughs> It was so humiliating. Yeah, what's up with these March weather patterns in April? Exactly. Exactly. Oh, Lisa loves the music. I love the music, too. We're going to have more soon. I promise. Well, we negotiated with uh, Dano tonight, and he provided some stuff, and we already had some we stuff. We negotiated. It worked. Like, can we really? play our music? Gotta love that. Got to love that. Oh, that hits really hard. Ceviche, baby. Where are we? Where are we? We are at. Uh... Oh, here we go. Thymix. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, that's. Yeah, you're right there. Oh, okay. Yep, yeah, we're good. Hey. Just checking the music. We've been through Oye, Cremo, Va, and we're still doing great. Yeah. Yes, global weirdness for sure. Yeah, you know, people talk about this, that, and the other, and the simple fact is something is up, something is changing, and uh, last okay. two years, the weather blew my fence off its of its pinions. Seriously, I actually nailed that sucker down with three-inch lag screws, and it, it was just blown off. Yeah, something's up. So anybody who's doubting this is full of bleep. It's it's what we're talking about. This is it. Oh, hey, good good guess, John. No, he, it's this is not that, it, but it's a very good uh, idea. Because you're thinking of something like uh, um, Bloomfield Cooper. Bloomfield Stills, actually. Why are you doing that? Truth. Because that version of Season of the Witch is kind of awesome. And I kind of feel like the clans should do a version of that. Wow. That would be really good. Nobody's doing that these days. Hmm. <laughs> it's like Murder or Gita Bill. There's always a woman to play. <laughs> She's still assault. Lost Shaker Salt. <laughs> Lost Shaker Salt. That was a Broadway musical, by the way. Yes, it was. Escape to Margarita. Mm -hmm. It lasted all of a couple of months. 
so it, they, tried, long, they tried but, yeah. they tried they tried they tried so Oh boy. Alright. Just having some some plantation. Plantation, not a bad place to be. I'm telling you. Why not? I love that day quit. You believe that I'm British to tell you. I tell people all the time. Are you gullible enough for that? I've got some shares oh. that I can talk to you about. John says, heard some great covers lately. Have you heard Fanny's version of Hey Bulldog? Yes. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, they're real, Fanny is really, really great. And they're totally undersold because the 70s was stupid, sexist, full of a bunch of like record uh, industry pricks who like would keep bands like that down. Better keep that bottle, Paul. They changed their name. He just bought it like yesterday. Yeah. Well, if they want to change the name, fine. As long as they don't change the formula, we're in a good shape. <laughs> mm. he, just, he just bought it. It was literally right there. Yesterday. One day ago. I yeah. seriously was just We're sucker. just like always buying the time. Literally. Oh, well, that's kind of life. That's kind of life. And the fact is, like, I understand that. I also understand like, the fact that this sounds a hell of a lot like uh, Season of the Witch. It does. Mm. now, right? It's got those chord changes. Yeah. Interesting enough, and I, I really love me a good version of Season of the Witch because it's just that creepy song gets under your skin. One of those things that's like really, really paranoid. I want to play it through. I want to play through the album. There's one more song after this. Okay, well we can definitely. Right. Fistful of tacos. We're gonna we're Gotta gonna play. hang in through a fistful of tacos. It might be about that time then, but we have a few minutes, so please yes. hang out with us. That's the kicker. My new name is Plantaray. Plantaray. What? What the hell is that? Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm um, I'm glad that you decided to try something, but what the hell is that? Plantaray. What? Uh, Maison Maison Fronde. Fronde. Okay. You have to certify that you're actually okay. Oh, here we go. Asking me my age again. That's rude. Rude. Okay. I certify rude. that I'm legal age. Okay, fine. Well, that was easy. The websites to make you like enter your birth date. I'm like, really? Because if I was 10 years old, back when I was 10 years old, I would have been like, I'm just going to say I'm over 21. Oh, I'm totally good. So stupid. This cannot be a thing. Really? We went back too far. We did, but there was you, nothing there. You can't enter. You can they do it. Can they do it? Can they do it? Cocktail with Plantaray Rum. Yeah, there it was. I saw it. It keeps shooting it back to the main page. I know. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. For what it's worth? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and then but then when you go to their website, it just it just shoots you back to the homepage. Yeah, now. Put them on the spot and say, how old do you think I am? I would do that. How old do I look? Go ahead. Think about it. Well, I'd like to play the game with people where they, where they will ask, like, so where do your folks come from? I'm like, where do you think they come from? And they think of, like, oh, and half hour later, they're like, they're still thinking. I'm like, if you're really confused, good. Well, when, when people ask me, like, oh, <clears throat> where do your folks come from? I'm like, Oklahoma. Oklahoma? <laughs> Seriously. And they mean before that. that. They mean before that. I'm like, but I'm not going to give that to them. Like, where do they You've got to figure it out. Oklahoma? Because if it's meaningful, you'll figure it out. And if it's not, you'll know. Exactly. And that's very important. The rep told me the bottle and the factories have the new labels, and only when the current supply is depleted do you see the thing. Yeah, probably. 
I didn't believe it. Because like it was just know, weird because he bought that yesterday. I was like, okay. You put the bottle and like that's it. It's got to go on there. You know, See, there's a hundred thousand of these out there. Right? You got to use those up. Because we live in a house full of it. crap. Do we need to save this stupid oh, bottle because sake. it's going to be a different name? Because... Maybe I'll steam the label off no. and put that in a, in a folder. So if I really need put it, put it in a folder so I can people <coughs> can throw it away when they die. For Pete's sake, these things. These things. Well, that's that for that now, isn't it, Jack? I am not going to make another one, but. But. You had a little. Yeah. You had a little yeah. taste. So you also have a little taste of. What is, what is it? Still considered a plantation. Plantaray? What are we calling it now? That's a nonsense name. And what I did they call it? Does, does that mean something? Plantation is actually a term that means something. It doesn't necessarily mean what people think is negative. So I gotta say. Well, I mean, I can. I understand if you want to change that name, but plantaray does that mean anything? I'm just just asking. Does that mean something? Put close to boiling hot water into the oh wait and peel the label off. Yes. Way to do it. I don't want many people ask me where I'm from. But I used to get nervous when I told them I'm Irish and they asked what county. What county I'm from? Jeez. <coughs> well, your family was what county? Cork. Oh yeah, yeah, they were from Cork. Wait, the county that floats. Oh, okay. Wait. Back to the time right. before the. Or I can play it out, and we can log off. You can play it out. I can We're play here. it out, and we can log off. Well, folks. Thank you, Dan, so much for letting us have the music tonight, because that was everything. That was what we needed. It's what we needed to keep this sucker going. We, yes. we made it happen. Hello. To be a tiki kickoff, when we could not be out in the tiki. Room. It so, was a little thank chill. You. You know, we're still in that period where it's not going to be pleasant to be out there. They say slurping through the straws root. I call it conservation of resources. Exactly. Think about it. Oh, my gosh. Thank you all so much. Please. Please. We love you. Thank you for being here. We hope to be out in the Tiki Room next week. But I swear, if you would have asked me Monday, I would have been like, oh, we'll be out there because it's Surely. broiling. There you go. Okay. He wants to do a little um, promo. We still have the towels, so if you need towels, let down. us know. It doesn't matter. You can see it. Flip it. Yep. All right, fine. Flip it. Uh, the towels Flip come it. in this color, Flip which is not Flip black. It. It's teal. And we also have the magenta towels. There's also magenta. Two big colors. We still have the wine glasses. We still <laughs> have the records, and we still have Patreon. So if you want to support us, that's the way to do it. If you go on to the box one level, you will get a horoscope and tarot cards from Glenny. That's what you need to know it's the least she to can help do. us do what we do when we do because it's the we're least here she can do for you. doing it for you. And that's oh, Lisa, the thank final you. Lisa plug the for the towel. night. Please. Yes, Lisa right. ordered a we'll couple of towels recently, any more the same and you're thing. using them constantly, so I'm going to tell you, they work as towels. They're not just decor. So, thank you so much for joining us. This Please. has been really fun. Thank you to Dan for letting us use to play on this music, because everyone loves the music, and we do, too. I love this music. So, just I, listening I know, to it, it's, right? just, it's some kind of awesome. So, uh, you all saw the links. Follow them. Find some clams music, and please purchase it. You can get it on CDs and downloads. And also, there's one LP. By the way, uh, the Ceviche LP is awesome. And Dan says he will produce it on LP if there is demand. So if enough of you really it's want Ceviche demand. on LP, he has got to have X you, number of orders. If you orders. want to own a record with my face on the cover... This will be your time. We need some orders to get that up. <laughs> if we need to do a whole marathon and make that happen, we'll do it. We'll do it. God damn it. Oh, do it. Lisa, thank you so much. Yes. Uh, yeah. We need your tail when the aliens come. Exactly. Right? Seriously. You do not want to be without towels when the aliens come. Um, Take her. I was going to say, I, 
lost my train of thought. Yeah, we're here. Must not have been important. I cannot yes. remember now. People are signing off because it's that time. I'm oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Thankful yes. that you could join us for Damn, two and one half hours know, on a Wednesday. Up. We're still look rocking this thing. I could go for another half hour and then it'd be always end. know where your but towel is. Sure, words were never spoken. To a trumpet player, you really need to know that information. Oh, this is what I was going to say. We will try to be out in the tiki room next week. It's completely weather dependent. Today was overcast. It's all about the sun. Yeah. It doesn't matter the temperature. It could be 50 degrees outside. Yeah. If it's sunny, it'll be warm enough out there. It could be, you know, warmer, but if it's overcast, Trish. forget it. So pray for the sun. Pray for, pray sun. for sun. Pray for sun. People, it's been awesome to be with you for two and one half hours on a Wednesday. This is crazy. Great topics covered. You've been listening to the clams. Find them and buy them because that's why we are here. And you've even seen some awesome jewelry from Gettysburg, ma'am. You can find that too and buy it. And that supports her. You know how to support us. And if you don't, send me a message. I'll tell you. It's easy. So listen, we'll be with you one week from now with another fun theme. Watch. Because if anything changes, we'll let you know. But we'll probably we'll try to be out the ticket because that was the idea tonight. We'll try. The simple fact is, this remains sex. true no matter what happens, no matter where you go, and no matter what you do, you know what's going to happen? We're going to see you soon. Good night.